everyone. Hi, guys. Hi, Danielle. Good to be back in the nook. Well, the satellite nook. The rental nook. The rental nook. Sorry. Soon to be in my new home. How have you been? We had a week off. Well, you're working. You've been back and forth to New York. Mm. Like every mm-hmm. other day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> also, we have a... You guys, um, thank you so much for bearing with us when we had to... Um, to postpone our San Francisco show, but guys, we are coming to San Francisco. Some of you guys uh, still have tickets to the show. Those that can still make it, it's going to be June 1st um, at the Great American Music Hall. We have a 7 p.m. and a 10 p.m. We will be there with bells on. It's yes, be fun. S- yeah, we're so excited. Yeah. And those people that, um, that were so sorry we had to postpone the tickets, but I promise you it'll be worth the wait. Sure will. And there's still some tickets left for the 7 and the 10. Oh, Danielle. How have you been, Casey? I've been good. You know, a little crazy. My older son was diagnosed with celiac disease, which I just really didn't know much about and kind of how involved it is, but... It's like a gluten intolerance, correct? Yes, but it's actually, like, pretty... It's it's, it's intense. I mean, Mm -hmm. certainly it's not, you know... uh, there are many, many worse things, but it it comes with a lot of different complications that I just wasn't aware of. But I'm like ultimately very relieved because a lot of things were happening with him that were completely inexplicable. And I've been on like a two and a half year journey of like just and it's been it's been a long at points heartbreaking two years of just yeah. like trying to get to the bottom of like why he seemed like melancholy why he was like fracturing his leg he was having all these different things temper tantrums fatigue like all these different things I just didn't know what it was yeah. so I'm relieved and happy but I'm bringing it up only because I truly don't know one person who's whose child has it. I know it's very common but uh-huh. if there is a listener out there who wants to reach out <laughs> yes <laughs> tips, just tips, just any tips, sort of tips, tips. tips. <laughs> no, I and I, I'm so happy, and I, again, I'm certainly not equating this. You know, there's way, way greater issues, but but I think anytime anything health concern at all, even if it's something that is manageable, comes up with your child, it is terrifying, especially if you don't know much about it or have yes. like all the information as you find it out. It's just terrifying in any way, and all these things like lined up he had gross motor skills issues he had just so many different things that it was like a puzzle and now to have it all under one umbrella is amazing but then I'm kind of you know I'm gonna be the 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 mom like speaking to a chef and being like excuse me my son (laughs) you know which is becoming so common you know like even when you go into supermarkets and stuff we are seeing like you know like things in that sense I'm not saying it's an easy thing I'm just saying like thank god the world is understanding and the world is moving in the direction of like hey people have stuff and we have to rise to to meet that absolutely I've just been like he was not eating at all and he was losing weight and it was just like I was so panicked I've never been just so just been a hard hard year he's such a great kid but it's been it's rough. It's been rough. I yeah, know. but he's he's doing great. And literally, we, you know, took out gluten, and it's truly like a different human. It's really? only been a very short while. Oh, I'm so happy. <sighs> oh Lord. Oh Lord. My child is zoo camp this week. <laughs> <laughs> zoo camp? Yeah. You know, I'm back at work full time, um, and so it's spring break, which is like the latest uh, spring break ever. And so I put her in zoo camp, where she just goes to the zoo every. Day. The I one right throw, now, right? Yeah, like I just throw in the zoo every day. Where she just throw in there. What is she doing? Like cleaning cages and such? Yeah, anything that they no, she they like learn about different animals or like That's learn about cute. their poop. It's really sweet and stuff. But oh. my daughter, you know, I know I've said this before, but just on the subject of kids and stuff, because my daughter has like found, you know, like she loves a jacuzzi, and I've said in the podcast before how she like tells everybody when they're going to jacuzzi, like hot tip, you know, if yeah. you're like you know, if you put your vagina against the, <laughs> against yeah. the, the bubbles, like it feels really good. <laughs> like, and I've said that in the podcast before and I've said like, Hey, <laughs> who could forget? <laughs> I hope you don't put yours in front no, of there. No, no, no. I mean, it is true. It's a great tip for anybody who's interested. Okay. Sorry. I, I thought she meant the suction, but no, she she's means like the, the bubbles. Like, okay. The, yeah. Like, you know, it yeah, feels yeah, great. Sure. sure. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. And so, and I've, <laughs> And I've I've always thought it was kind of like okay like like you know that's she's like, a pioneer. I'm trying not to shame her. You know, it's yeah. like we're trying as parents to like you know not make mistakes or parents make and all that stuff. Yeah. And so I'm just like, hey, you know, that's like that's great that for you. <laughs> <laughs> but, Love all that. But um, but like, hey, that's like for you. That's like information like, hey, for you. Hey, hey, what's up? Listen, uh, <laughs> hey kid, that's information for that's you. Great. That's great. 
I'm so happy you discovered yeah. that. Like, but I think that that's just for you, and maybe like that's not everybody needs for you to in know the that. And she has not taken that at all. That she's not taking that note. And so we were at a friend's house, a guy friend's house, my husband's friends the other day, and she's like, "Hey, <laughs> no," and you're like, "I don't want to like, hear Eric. anything." Start with she's, that. Like, she's like, and he's a man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's, like, she's like, "Hey, um, put your vagina." <laughs> Close this time again. Put your vagina up against these bubbles. It feels really good. She's like, it feels like a lollipop going into your vagina. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Danielle! I am dead. I am dead. So like, I, you know, I know I've told the first part of the story, but this was just like a new wrinkle. Oh, we needed <laughs> every moment of it. Like, hey. And so my husband hey. was like, Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> your husband. Did. And poor our friend, who's like the sweetest no, man. Say? The sweetest man. He was like, oh, oh, okay. Like, just so, like, you know, yeah. like. Rolling just, with it. Yeah, just rolling with it, but also, you know, like, flushed and, like, you know, just trying to be cool. Yeah, and, like, sweet, we're all like, just trying lovely. to be such great parents. And, like, just, like, I'm like, I have to have a bigger conversation with her about yeah. this. I still haven't yet. I still haven't quite found the words. Because like, I was trying to Don't be, like, bring her around cool to my casual. Hot tub. <laughs> Just trying to be cool. Casual I mean, almost. she can tell me about it as much as she wants. But I was like, that is the perfect description. <laughs> like an orgasm. <laughs> it's like a lollipop for your vagina. <laughs> right? Not that she's. I mean, this is so gross. This I is mean, so sad. yeah. I'm like, it is. Yeah. She's absolutely like, right. And I was just like, like that's you, a great. She's the power of description is like. It's beautifully maybe, described. Yeah. Your eyes must have popped out. Right? I was it's, trying not to laugh, and like yeah. I got like red faced. It's and, a great like, description, and I love it. Yeah, she's so, so cute. So wow. anyway, and, and I'm learning. Like that's yeah. It's just like I've a learned great a lot. way to describe. And Eric learned a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Just gross. Oh, God. Surprised, but like everyone was just kind of like, hey, hey. like everyone, yeah. you know, because we're in that place sure. where we just like trying to make everything okay and not shame our kids. Sure. But it was just like a weird <laughs> <laughs> Danielle. Mm. So that's what. But she's good. She's she's, <laughs> she's real good. She's she's right is right. <laughs> real relaxed. <laughs> she's feeling great. Oh my God, Danielle. Oh. oh but well. that's really kind of all that's. All that's doing. All that's doing. In, yeah. In, in my life. Yeah. I mean. And we have Passover this weekend. My child's going to be like, what's that? <laughs> I've never really like, I'm Jewish. Yeah. But I've like, I don't know. I'm not, I'm such not a religious person. I'm a holiday person in the sense that I like to celebrate, but I'm not a religious person. So as much as I'm full Jewish, like I, I haven't really brought the holidays. Like she saw Hanukkah at my sister's house and she's like, what is this holiday? I was like, I should start doing Hanukkah. Like that's <laughs> yeah. Bad. She's like, what's that? And so I said to my husband this year, it's like I'm gonna start doing Passover, and he's like, what are you gonna do? I was like, well, I'm gonna get some matzah. <laughs> just like the worst. Go right on up. Yeah, I'm just gonna like get some matzah, and she's gonna be like, what is this? And I mean, well, you know, we're doing Passover and Easter are right you? back to back. Oh yeah. Where do you do Passover? Like, is it like a relative thing? Some with David's family, friends. <laughs> so I'm not. <laughs> something that i should be invited <laughs> some friends uh -oh. they just you know it's uh, uh um uh friends that i am closer with than i am <laughs> well it seems <laughs> who am i <laughs> so upset by that no <laughs> it's, no i i don't think you would be surprised okay. to not be included <laughs> <laughs> that's terrible jane and jordan <laughs> No, 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 I shouldn't be included. Right, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. yeah. no. Great. <laughs> That's fine. I'm That's happy to. Nice. And when you go Jane over Jane listens, maybe. Yeah, Jane. Could get you an Wanna invite. <laughs> put out the invite. <laughs> Room for three more. <laughs> Jane's got Before, a hot tub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I realized that I was come over to playing that was as though I was like taking joy. I knew the whole time that you would not feel. Yeah, but the way I was like, who is this person? <laughs> You're like, I don't think you'd be upset not to be included. I'm like, just you. No, I shouldn't. Like, no, no, no. No, that, that makes but all the sense in the world. But I'm glad that I'm you as a Christian. I'm to, to secure you an invite. No, 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 no. We're good. As I, a Christian, it doing Passover feels like the Christian thing to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You were, you've least become more, much more Jewish than I oh, am. Oh, you know, I'm lighting the candles by myself at home. You and, are? Oh, wow. Yes. I'm impressed. Oh, yes. Do you know the prayers? I know a good bit of them, yes. Okay, sometimes, which I know is not great, I will have to pull out 
my phone to like for a few little things. Yeah. Which well, I that's what I do with, when, th- when I was doing Hanukkah with my daughter for the first time this year. Yeah. I pulled out a phone and was like, she's like, what's this holiday about? And I was like, give me a sec. <laughs> <laughs> give me one. One. Yeah. Sec. But I do feel as I get older and my daughter gets older. Like I do want to start of course because it's not for me a religious thing it's a tradition thing i got my egg dyeing kit right here oh yeah and we're also gonna do easter my daughter did ask me who jesus was the other day and i was like okay how do i explain this to her in a way that feels like what i and so i was like he's this guy and he's just really into peace (laughs) just made him seem like a huge max asked me who jesus was and then he goes did i know him (laughs) in your heart we don't know we'll never know um Wow. I mean, Easter for me is a, it was a huge holiday. My best friend, Amanda, for, you know, she's my best friend since like I was five. Our Mm -hmm. moms and our families would go out to brunch after, well, we would go out to brunch almost after every church. And it's all we thought about. And during the sermon, Mm -hmm. the minister, my mom would take the like, what's it called? Like the envelope where you give money? Yes. You know, like, the, and it would, like, say the amount. She'd turn it over right on the back. Who wants to get brunch? Check yes or no. And, like, pass it no. around. <laughs> yes. And it's, like, it's strange to see a mom doing that behavior. I like, love that, Like, the minister's, like, oh, you know. And so the brunch was, like, a very large part of our Easter. So I'm excited. Aww. Oh, we're going to be at Easter together. Yes, we are. Whew. I was, yeah. like. We always. Are we going there again? <laughs> like, I think. <laughs> but I didn't get invited. We are definitely both going to be at the same okay, Easster celebration. Okay, good. So okay, you will good. see us in our, in our oh, Easter right, whites. Right, yeah. Wow. I mean, all I got to say is everyone should be watching Pen15 and Trill. And also, I, I'm a little late to this, but I just finished the first seasons of Killing Eve, and it was amazing. I was late to it, too, and I'm upset that I was late to it. It's unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. And I was also upset I was late to Fleabag, and that's on oh, me. Fleabag's amazing. That's on me. And I just started the View book, The Ladies Who Punch, and it is fantastic. <laughs> I need Guys. it. I need it. And of course, I've seen every single possible shred of anything about oh, Ronos. Uh, it, uh, and can, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that woman. Oh, Elizabeth Holmes. By the way, when I was saw the first like the Ronos thing, I was like, you know what would be cool? I'm like, I bet. Should I write a screenplay and like star in this? And then I found out Kate McKinnon and Jennifer Lawrence were playing her. I was like, hmm, maybe Ooh. I'll play like a one of the chemists. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> oh my god! Anything um, else? That's that's all I got. That's all I got. We have a great guest. We sure do. Let's should we take a break and get right to him? I'd love to. We're back. We are with our wonderful guest. Now, wonderful. This, guest. I can't believe this person hasn't been on our podcast. I feel like they came on. In, they. In, they. I don't want to give it away yeah. before we do the big reveal. But I feel like this person came on um, at a Largo show playing Santa Claus. Yes, he played Santa <laughs> in a very early Christmas show. Well, it was reason, like the end of November Christmas show. The reason this gentleman hasn't been on is because he has not really been steeped in the Bravo universe. But then and he, the fans, as we all know, get angry. Yes, they do not. And so we don't let anyone come on. Or but then, then he got in deep. In a way, I don't think he wanted or expected, but now he's in, and he's sitting here. He's one of our dearest friends of all time. A co-collaborator in many... I mean, we've been... Paul and I have been friends. Oh, give it away. <laughs> I think people know from just simply reading, yeah, the, well, reading episode. the episode. Oh, I forget. People <laughs> read yeah, I think it's Paul know. Shear, you guys. Paul Shear is here. I am here. so excited to be here. Now, let me just yes. intro you. For those who don't know you, yeah. you have your own podcast with Miss June Diane, who is a basically a other regular on the show, a hero, yeah. and your wife, and your yes. wife, Jason Manzukis. Right. Um, how did this get made? Which is the funniest podcast. The funniest. You and were on you the league. You both have been amazing on it. Thank you. Wow. Wow. You were on the league, which yes. was obviously amazing. You were on. Black Monday. Which yes. We shared the screen together on we Black Monday did, many times. And we shared like the trailer parking lot, you and I, Casey. Yeah. We never were in a scene together. <laughs> no. Casey and I were also, we were all very like yeah. siloed in <laughs> our various scenes. Exactly. And you're also on, f- and you were on for some time fresh off the boat. I was indeed, yeah. It's a and lot of different stuff. You have a, uh, your Quite career a span breadth of work. I really work. like to work. I love the business. Yeah. I love meeting people from different <laughs> backgrounds, which is why I really have fallen into this Bravo wormhole. I will say that my entry point was always Beverly Hills. The first of these shows I watched was the Camille Grammer, Kelsey Grammer divorce. I think that was like 2010. Yeah. That's what kind of got me. R.I.P. Yeah. Mm. Oh. 
And you know what? I went on Andy Cohen's show, Watch What Happens Live, okay. yeah. and I made a bold statement. They said, who is the worst housewife? And I said, Camille. Uh, oh, oh, uh, 100% agree. That's, uh, that's right. And, and But bold. then this week, I won't get, we'll get into it, but yeah. this week I was kind of like, she proved exactly my point 100%, but then also it was a great argument so i don't know if she's the worst okay also. why do you feel she's the worst she's so boring like she literally yes. is a prop like this season on beverly hills she's a prop like they go to her parties they're throwing things for her but there's nothing that she's doing like she is just an extra friend that they can just go and have a fight about something else but we to be need, around we need that you know I don't I think mean? we do. You don't I think hate so? her, and I really didn't love her when she was arguing against oh. this Dr. Christine Ford. This I was like, was, get the fuck out of here. This was a triggering episode. Like, we're yeah. not... We're not done yet processing that no. whole thing. So, it, and to and to hear Camille Grammer like take up for, for she compared the, herself the to Brett history, Kavanaugh. She said, but she's like, I know how it is. Oh, but so, meanwhile, uh, so many levels of wrong and upsetting, and like I said, I just I'm not ready to process it, and I'm certainly not ready to process it still through her. Yeah, I was actually pretty shocked that they took on that issue, and that was like one of my favorite scenes I've seen because it felt not reality TV like centric in a way like it felt like this is a passionate argument that people are having. it's like it's about a big issue and i feel like you oh, never yeah, see we never go here big issues on no. a show like but this. it was so strange for me well i guess we're just jumping right in to have like because people have been on both sides of this issue um people in my own family i've had this arguments with but for for, for camille to make it about herself was just mm. an angle in a way when she has not in any like she has been accused of being a bitch i think that's the I mean, only she thing she was she's on the accused. verge of tears yes. for brett kavanaugh i know yeah. but here's this is the thing that struck me as weird she said you know i know what it's like to be you know maligned and insulted and and, and humiliated in the world she said the world mm -hmm. i don't think the world no camille. nobody knows who camille grammar Just is these people that listen to this podcast <laughs> yeah. so but when she said that she's like but isn't that what Christine Blasey Ford is also like she all yes you can pick either side to say like you know what it's like not to be believed or not to be like she like she picked the Brett Kavanaugh side I know because for a second I had like turned away and then I saw her crying with Kyle and and I was like oh wait maybe now she's realizing what yes. she said no 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 no. Side. no 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 she stuck right by and then though then we pivoted into something wild wild <laughs> wild i mean we're taking Un on issues issue like it was a big issue again mm -hmm. i was reeling from it it was uncomfortable for me to watch just because like like i said i don't think we're done processing what how that tr that triggered everybody and then this again was just like i'm watching these women talk about this like this is my relaxation time and then we pivoted in a way to the fact that lisa rinner's mother lois whoa was whoa nearly killed by and, a serial killer and they dropped that shit in the last act <laughs> like you were you okay first of all we've been admired in puppy gate <laughs> and for yeah. far too long and then they dropped these fucking bombs on us in the end <laughs> at the very end it at was the like, end we find out about the what, what, what was his name the trail by the yeah. way this is like the like another golden state killer yes. the trail side killer the trail side killer and she was only rescued because a uh a military An, uh, policeman yes, who's off duty saw them drive into a thing. He hit her with a hammer. She had metal plates in her head. Of course, Lisa Rinna was triggered also of and upset course. by the. I mean, for that to be what followed in, in, and I thought Lisa was very like kind of calm in her explanation. She was like, you know, I felt Camille was a bit wrong because you know, of course, my mom was, you know, almost killed by the trailside killer. I was like, what? <laughs> and I have to say, just kudos to Lori, the mom, Lois. because Lois, sorry. Lois, yeah. the mom. I'm always going to get the names wrong. I yeah, apologize. Yeah. Oh, as but, do we. <laughs> yeah. But they introduce her. And obviously, she's been on the show before. But she's like, cool, hang on. Oh, like, she is. She doesn't feel like she has lovely, any of this weight in her young, life. Young, no. sprightly, like personality. Honestly, maybe this More is why she Ken. didn't want to get. Oh, well, <laughs> no. More life than Ken. No, that, that's another shocking. <laughs> that's another shocking revelation. I, I do think maybe that's why Lois didn't want to get in the infrared bed. Yeah. Because it's like, she's been through enough. Yeah. Yes. Lois did the best thing in that. She's like, I look young. I feel young. I'm hanging out. I'm not drinking pee, IVs. 
I'm not going in that cold thing. But she enjoyed watching everyone kind of just do it. And I love but I love Lisa Renna in that when she was just like, I don't know if any of this stuff works, but I'm the first she, one there. Yeah. She's like, I will pay top. I don't know if anything's worked, but I will pay for it. And I was like, yes. This she's was a great fan. episode for Lisa. Yes, yes, yes she showed us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I, I I do love Lisa Renna. And I love her forever, also mm-hmm. just because she had done Hot Wives. But she... Like, every once in a while, I'm like, oh, my God, you're too much. And this, she was just a She was that. perfect. Well, okay. it was nice because she, like, she's been stirring the pot this season, yes. which I think has been necessary for this season, which has been. There's no pot to stir. Yeah. No, there's nothing. But I like just kind of getting into her life a little bit. Like, we just kind of, mm-hmm. like, I felt like we were along for this ride. I feel and like it, she's owning it this season where she's like, oh, I'm a very big part of this show now. Yes. And you can yeah. feel her she's kind of loving it. She's not as sweaty this season yes. in, in a lot of ways. And that's refreshing. And mm-hmm. by the way, the thing that was most glossed over and we didn't even really get to understand was the fact that uh, LVP lied to Camille about not being invited to the party. Like that was because the Brett Kavanaugh thing just took over the dinner. That would have been the normal discussion. We got to get we into that. We had to that. brush past that. Yeah, there mean, was so much we had to brush past. <laughs> Why did she say that she was? I mean, Kyle obviously invited her. LVP is... is she, dirty, I think she dirty needs to be... Yes, and I think Kaya. LVP takes everything personally. So if Kyle just sent out sort of a casual text, it's the kind of thing where LVP is like, I didn't get an invitation. You know what I mean? Like, she is someone that needs to have, like, she formal... She didn't accept Teddy's letter to her. Oh, sorry, Erica Jane's letter mm, to her. That for was the, so... That was so bizarre to me. Wow, and was. And, I, and I, I really fell for Erica Jane because... I don't think that these people are. You the are also of you friends. and Erica Jane have a very special relationship. Look, Erica and Jane <laughs> and I hit it off. I will tell you when I was on Watch What Happens oh, Live. Oh, we know. <laughs> uh, I I well, this is what happened. Okay. The night before I do Watch What Happens Live, I'm you know, I'm like I'm I'm making sure that I'm I'm prepared. I'm reading excerpts from you know Erica's book. I'm listening oh. to the album. How oh. many fucks does she give? According to the How song, many does not, she? not many, <laughs> not many, not, that, not what, one, not one. one, not a single zero, one. Zero, 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 none. None. Yeah. So this woman on Twitter writes me, or she doesn't write me. I'm I search my own name already. I'm in a dark place because I'm alone in New York and I'm like nervous about going on. Watch what happens live, and she goes. Andy, tomorrow you have Erica Jane and Paul Shear. Um, she's not gonna like that. And I'm like, what? 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 And then I and I and I like I'm like, what do you mean? So I like I write her and I go, what the hell, Judy? <laughs> I go, Erica Jane's one of my favorites. And she goes, didn't know that. Better bring your claws just in case, bro. <gasps> What? So now, Judy, Judy, Judy. Uh, Judy K. Stein, and now I'm like, I'm freaked out. So now <laughs> I, I go to watch what happens live by myself, and I'm there, and I, that was my mistake number one, because now I'm like, is she going to eat me? Like, what is she going to do? I, the last thing I need to be is, like, dunked on yeah. by, like, Erica Jane, because she can do it. Yeah. Like, you saw her take that hit this week. I was so impressed with the way she took that hit. You know she was pissed off. Oh, she was, she she was, was so pissed. Motored She's like, let's it. keep going. Let's keep going. Yeah, and they're like, are you okay? She's like, no. no. <laughs> I was like, wow. She's fierce. Yeah. She's a fierce oh, yeah. lady. And so I was like, I did not want to go on there and, and, and get dunked on. You know, and I'm like, I'm freaked out. I hear her with the glam squad in the next room. I'm like, and I got to tell you, I meet her. Ex- exceptionally lovely. Yeah. Exceptionally mm-hmm. lovely person. Uh, we have a good time. Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> and I go out there, and I go out there, and I say that, like, I, I say I am Team Teddy over mm-hmm. Team LVP, and the show's fun, we have a good time, uh, and Teddy Mellencamp tweets at me, and she <gasps> says, well, she first she says, Erica Jane, looking gorgeous on Watch What Happens Live, and Paul Shear, thank you, but I'm very worried for your Twitter mentions, however, crying emoji hearts, and I'm like, ha okay, yeah, me too. <laughs> I did not understand <laughs> that by aligning myself with Team Teddy over yeah. LVP opened up a Pandora's box of I was attacked. I was brutalized <laughs> by these fans. Like you a pinpointed, a, like not like literally for two weeks, especially like I mean things like this. I I, I pulled up the tweets. It was like Paul Shear, you're a talentless drag queen fan. You should have stayed out of it. TV poison, what? right? <laughs> and then it was like. Paul Shear, whatever his name is, it is Paul Shear, yeah. so it's not really an insult. <laughs> Paul Shear has never stood up to a woman in his life. What? That's a bet that you, you can take for a... Judy Stein. I know. He goes, that's a bet you could take to the bank. What a wet noodle. What? I've never stood up to a woman in my life? What does that mean? This what is, do they say about me? Why is that a point of pride? Yeah. Not yeah. standing up yeah. to a woman or not? 
standing yeah. up to the woman. Yeah, that's what Monica explains. <laughs> and then... Monica, explain to us what you mean! Yeah. And then LVP gets in the mix <gasps> of it, no. and she no. tweets at me. No, she doesn't, She Paul. does, no. actually. There's the tweet right there. Uh-huh. Um, and so LVP tweets at me, and she says, you know, because uh, I said that she, that Dorit gave the, the dog to a, a friend. And she goes, well, Paul Shear doesn't pay attention. She didn't know that person's name. So now that unleashes the LVP fans. Oh, on wow, because they're like, okay, Lisa's, yeah. And there's this one woman, Ella McAvoy, <laughs> dog prince, avocado, Ella Mel McAvoy, calms at me hard. She's like, my dog farted last night while I was watching Watch What Happens Live. And that was more funny than anything this unknown guy did. <laughs> And then <laughs> Melanie Ann comes in. Whoever that was had to be the most obnoxious, unfunny person ever. And yes, I'm on Lisa's side, but I'm not a stan. I just see contrived plot. And then and then someone writes me, huh. LOL, you're no Sebastian Maniscalco. And, and that's this guy who is uh, who's eating a bowl of pasta says, stay hungry, Tor. I guess I'm not Sebastian. So not now I'm being a... Wait. None of us are Sebastian Manicola. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. That's all oh my So now they're coming after me, and then I write after being attacked by this thing for a long time. Yeah. Uh, after what I thought was a, f- a fun show. Yeah, because we were probably trying to be respectful yeah. and just like. By the way, and I do, and I. I people choose sides on that show all the time. I mean, I know we we do. I didn't know Lisa's army was this strong. Oh, yeah. they're very strong, and you it know, it actually what I points to her guilt because she's got everybody whipped. Yes, and when when she does something wrong, they don't say. Boo! Yeah. I don't say boo. Like, and you know what? It's they're a bit all like saying Trump. It's feeling a little Trumpian. It is. You know, and can I say this is my theory? I love animals. I love dogs, et cetera, et cetera. But I think that Lisa Vanderpump gets a lot of these stands because mm-hmm. of the dog rescue. I think if you take the dog rescue out of this equation, yeah. she's not getting as many fans. It's like if you take Britney Southern accent away on Vanderpump. Yeah, what are what, we what left with? That's what I'm saying. So now oh, they come. Wow, they come after me. Kind of, that's. Powerful. It's like if you take Kelsey Grammer out of Camille. <laughs> what, do we, wow. what do we have? We get Camille. Wow. Paul. So, I mean, it just went on and on and on. I mean, and where are, so you many, are you at? Are you safe? Um, well, basically, Andy Cohen chimed in because I started. <gasps> oh. Well, oh, yeah. So, Kim? basically, so I read this tweet. I go, my favorite thing about where these LVP. Where does he LV- stand on Sebastian Manacusa? Well, well, yeah. I go, my favorite thing about these LVP stands is that they hate the mean girls, but they're the most vicious trolls. They're like, I hate it when people are mean, just like that stupid idiot creep. And then she goes, you're not funny in the slightest. I've never heard of you before, and I hope I never hear from you That's again. That's the biggest thing. Like, so I've unfunny. never heard of you. And I go like this. I go, the fact you've never heard of me really speaks to your lack of taste and exposure to comedy. But that being said, I think I totally get you now. And then, and then, <laughs> and then, and then I start like, Aww. and then I start like tweeting about like Black Monday. I'm like, well, if you yeah, want to, yeah. you want to watch me, <laughs> you can check I me like out. I like that you took it as an yeah. opportunity to, to educate. Right. Yeah. And like, and like, and to advertise. Yes. Yeah. I, I your got brand. out there. And though Andy Cohen jumped in. And, and she goes, keep this going for a while. <laughs> so, uh, so we just like she's posting gifts. She's saying I that Paul made me nauseous the way he was kissing uh, Erica Jane. He put a gif of a cat kissing another oh, cat. Oh, adorable cat! Yeah. So we, we we got into it, and then um, and then one person goes, I have Showtime and HBO, and I've never seen him in anything. Must be a bit player. And I go, you just can't tune into a network randomly expect me to appear on TV. That's not how it works. But since you have Showtime, it's another great chance for you to binge the whole season of Black Monday before the finale. And then I put a gif of myself. And then and then they someone starts reading my Wikipedia page and go, read the whole Wikipedia about Paul, never saw anything he did or was in. And the one thing that struck me as funny was that his best man at his wedding was Jack Nicholson, an impersonator, no friends, or to look important and famous. Couldn't figure that out. What a strange man. <laughs> And, and they go, and who is his maid of honor? Angelica Houston. A good one. And then yeah. Ella McAvoy Slam. goes, Slam. L- and she goes, Ella McAvoy goes, oh, L-O-L-M-A-O, you're killing me. I go, oh, that kills you, Ella? <laughs> I rest my case about your taste. <laughs> so, like, it was an intense, <gasps> yeah. And then I'm like, now Sheer. I'm in b- uh, blogs, I'm on The Inquisitor. Like, they're talking about me on The Inquisitor. Wow. Then I'm on the cheat sheet. I mean, let, me, let me read that headline. Why did comedian uh, Paul Shear publicly apologize to Camille Grammer <laughs> from Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? You I publicly said, apologized? I did, because I said, I, I, I said that she... I, <laughs> I got out in front of it. I got nervous yeah. because gotta I was like, get out in front of I, I, yeah. you know what? Andy, Andy seems so mortified that I said Camille was the worst. Uh, the worst. He the knows worst. that though. He's you got think to. So, I mean, so I, I, I felt like he was so upset with me that I did like, 
I kind of backpedal over him, but I do feel like she's the worst because it's like she's so nothing. Yep. She's so nothing. I couldn't agree with you more. She's just passive. I and forget that she's there. It's always like Camille walking into a party and then we don't see her. And I don't no. love that we have even a storyline with her about her wedding. I'm like, I don't care. It's, a bi- it, it, it's just a storyline to get people together because we, we don't care about it. I cared more about, I mean, Denise. I love Denise. Love yes. Denise. Love Denise. I mean, Denise just proves every, like, every week she gives me something to, like, just hold on to this week was <laughs> when they had like the beer and wine and she's like, you don't have tequila? She's like, I won't drink anyway. Yes. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Well, well Denise yeah. also breaks all the rules. Yeah. Yes. Because she's not stirring drama. She doesn't have like, like, uh, I'm silence. just going to be this way yeah. and I don't care. You're going to love Denise, but Denise is Denise. Like that is <laughs> never something that Denise if has. Anything, which ev- she's a step behind, but not in a stupid way. She's always no. just like, what was that? Yeah. What's happening? But she also seems like her tagline is weird because her tagline is like, people read my gossip pages, but my real life is crazier. It's like, it's not. And no, it seems it actually seems, quite neutral yeah, and fine. quite normal. Yeah, it almost seems... I mean, dare I say boring? I, I enjoy her, but yeah, her life yeah. does not seem no. uh, like a real no. roller coaster. I love Denise. And you were saying, Paul, it's very uncomfortable. Like that scene with Dorit and Denise mm-hmm. this week, which is just so oh, kind yes. of awkward. Dorit did not want to be there, right? Oh, God, I mean, no. Dorit did not want to sit on that couch. Like that was just the most How uncomfortable. About, that, that was, was like a, a little Tinder weird date. when Denise was like, hey, you're going to sit on like a cat ball, fur ball. And, and Dorit was like, I lovely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dogs. It was yeah, like it was all like, like, mm. like it was almost like <clears throat> no, yeah, no, it was a, that, was a, that was a that was a that was the most awkward pairing right there. I thought the most awkward part of one of the most awkward parts of a very awkward episode was was Camille like after that whole Kavanaugh breakdown, then asking Kyle to be her bridesmaid, oh, and you could yeah. see that Kyle did not want to be this woman's bridesmaid. I mean, Kyle even throwing that luncheon was strange, strange. and then Kim mm. Richards showing <gasps> up, and then Kathy Hilton showing up. Was that like, was, well, I mean, and by the way, when she, I did some fact checking, she said, what, well, there are 12 million people in LA? No, three. <laughs> but uh, oh, okay. she said, yeah, I she believed said, her. <laughs> yeah, so. and she said 10,000 restaurants. There, I mean, that is okay, a little bit closer. There's two restaurants that these women would go well, to, and one yeah. of them is Il Cielo. Yeah, I mean, Il Cielo? Well, no, that was where they had the bridal shower, right? But then, oh, oh, because I think that's where they saw Kathy and no, they no, saw they, them at, at the, the uh, dinner with at the dinner party with Lois. With Lois. Oh fuck! Sorry, guys. Okay, well then those two restaurants. <laughs> but I miss Kim. <laughs> I miss Kim because Kim I was miss like Kim. Kim she was seems, happy and healthy, right? She still seems like a mess. Oh yeah, but still. I like, want her back. Like, like, like pop her back in the show. I do oh, too. I miss Let's her. I miss swap her, her for day. Camille. Yeah, Please, she's the one. Day. Her events we should be going to. Oh, of course. Did you watch their show? The uh, the show that they're talking about that that got canceled American for American Woman. Season? Yeah. No. Okay. Did you? Did you? No, I just I, they talk about it and it's it seems so sad to me because it's like you know American woman to get picked up for a second season and uh, so now they're talking to her. That is a very yeah. dark thing but to what happen. What was happening on American Woman? Like what was going on there? I think a lot went on there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I have to go iTunes it when I get out of here. Uh, yeah, there's I mean, some there's some things. I mean, okay. I need to say something that a lot of our fans have been writing us about. Yeah. And it is a shock. It's an alert. If you are standing, sit down. If you are sitting, lay down. <laughs> yeah, and if you're lying down, kill yourself. Because <laughs> this is shocking. This, I, I couldn't believe. When this was tweeted at us, yeah. I thought they were li- I- I couldn't believe it. So, you know, remember our last show, Jason mm-hmm. Mantzuka said a mem- very memorable quote that made us all die laughing, which was, can everybody see Ken? Yeah. Because mm-hmm. Ken is as frail and has passed, yeah. obviously. Yeah, I mean, he he dodders around with a dog. Both of them have seemed like ghost, the shell of a ghost of yep. humans and dogs. And he looks like he's aged rapidly within, like, three years. Like, because I, like, when I went to Google some pictures, I'm like, oh, he doesn't look that old, and that's not that long ago. Well, Paul, he's not that old. Ken Todd is 61. What? <laughs> no, no, my dad is 70. <laughs> that's, like, my, and I've seen my your dad, dad is, like, like sprightly. My a spry man. My Very fa- spry. My, my husband's what? 61? <laughs> your husband's right there. No. 61? Yeah, 61. No. Who else is 61? Well, I looked up a couple celebs <laughs> just so we know what we're just dealing with context. here. Yes. Just context. Sharon Stone. What? Ken Todd. Whoa. Alec Baldwin and Ken Todd. What? Ellen DeGeneres, Ken Todd, and Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> All right, so he was a soccer player, right? Ken. Like that, he was a, he was but he a, wasn't a, a warrior. <laughs> Wait, Ken <laughs> moved? Wait. His body? 
I don't know Ken, his history. His yeah. history. Like, he was a soccer player. Like, like in I the days, did I didn't know, know that. that. Yeah, I'm but he's pretty... But he's a small man, so, like, that doesn't surprise me. Like, uh, yeah, like, I think he's like, Get out, Kyle. I feel like everybody played, like, European soccer. Like, you okay, know, like, yeah, I feel like, yeah. you know, it's like, I feel like Jason Statham was doing it, too. He's a, <laughs> a, a an English former footballer who scored 11 goals in 52 games for the Football League of the Wolverhampton Wanderers in Port <laughs> Vale and Portsmouth in the late 1970s. Was, I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> by being bought for 37,000 pounds by Vale and 20,000 pounds by Pompeii, he dropped into the Southern League with Farham Town and Waterlooville. I mean, these are not big teams. It doesn't seem it. But, but that, I mean... But the fact to, to picture him running is even a shocking, yeah. like, I can't conjure it. Uh, but also, I would believe it if you had told me that Ken is 90, s- is Lois's age. Like, yeah. Ken and Lois are peers. I would genuinely put him at 77, 78. No, I'd put him older. Wow. I'd put him older. I'd put I him mean, at 85. <gasps> oh, my this God. Is, Paul is, has pulled up like a young Robin photo William. of Ken. Yeah, it looks like he's in Godspell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's got, like, suspenders on. Yes, 100%. Yeah. He's a droog in this the picture. The same haircut that he has now. Um, um, the only time I actually saw him a- animated, and I was actually surprised, I wrote it down when I watched Vanderpump this week. He was like, "Crab cakes, crab cakes." <laughs> <laughs> he got so excited about those crab cakes. But he, I mean, but there was a moment. Sixty-one. When you look at him, like he, like there was a moment where he was his body. Oh, I really uh, am impressed the way you've you gone into the got records. Into oh, yeah. this, he Let did me see. look pretty good. Now he who's that gentleman Simon he's with? Cowell-esque body. Yeah. Of an Englishman, you know, sort of like stout with like strange like breasts. a barrel yeah like yeah. um sort of pointy breasts yeah like not like <laughs> like something that's like <laughs> you know he's I mean? not flabby but he's also not fit but that's okay it's sort of like yeah it's like he can kind of take a punch like but yeah yeah thick yeah thick thick, thick. <laughs> um guys what was happening with kyle in the mini car the twenty nine thousand oh, dollar vendor hall that, that she was wearing matching purple fedoras with Portia. Yeah, no, no, which no. Uh, was uh, was a nightmare and a dream. Like a uh, part of me is like, this is what I dreamed for my daughter and I to be like Holding touting hands. around town and matching well, fedoras. Well, they live in the valley, Danielle. Yeah, I'd love to see them. Um, but that is sort of a dream. But I also thought how dangerous it is to be like in L. A. traffic. Um, no helmets. Or how about, how about when she said, "Just put the groceries under her feet because she's small." So <laughs> she basically was like. We can mess up her her seating arrangement so she can be ejected more easily from this car. She's having a midlife crisis, but the show is so much stuff is going on. We can't even focus on it. We can't because no. if someone stops short, they're dead. Yeah, that if was someone, disturbing. If That's in their garage all the time. That car. Yeah, and we're just if they seeing hit it now? a curb, yeah, we've never seen dead. It. Like that was just like a little. So we found out that Kyle cards. had a major, yeah. major, major spending problem like pretty recently. We knew it, but yeah. but now I'm like, oh, we're seeing it. She goes, I just thought it would be a fun thing to have. It's like things. Mauricio's making a ton of money now. Yeah, and her and buying that watch in the middle of like dinner. Oh, and dinner. Post mating a watch. Yeah. Was yeah, that was a moment. But she's also <laughs> trying to recoup from this robbery. Which yeah. we, if, if, unless we find out that that robber is Camille, then I think that we Camille should stay on the show. <laughs> that would be amazing. Like, I bet it's Kim. Ooh. Maybe Kim or Kathy organized it to get their mom's jewels back. Ooh. Wow, Casey. Wow. Guys, I Hot don't. Gosh. I could this see is it. a wrinkle that I hadn't even considered. I can see and Kathy now I this. see it. I can see Kim. Wow. Let's take a break. Guys, we're back. I want to bring up something that Jessica Chaffin brought up at, uh, at the show, but I think it was kind of like after the show, she mm-hmm. was saying she's disappointed in Erica Jane this season because she feels like the tour is like kind of a rehashing of her old tour. Mm. There's not. She only has so many songs. Right. It's like get some new songs. There's not a lot of verve, and it does feel like she's kind of like not topping herself. Well, it does. Oh, sorry. Oh, I was going to say it also, what Jessica said is like update your look. Like her look feels a little tired and old, and I don't. <laughs> Just, I love Erica and Paul. And I, and no disrespect. I, no, no we know disrespect. your relationship is. <laughs> guys, guys, do not come after my friends like this. <laughs> Erica, did she invite me to the reunion? Yes, publicly, sure. Did we like tweets today? Sure, yes, she did. Look, Paul, she sent me some slippers. One said pretty, one said mess. I mean, we all have relationships. She did. Yeah, she her. gave that to Andy when I was on the show too. How come I didn't get? Well, they were like those like Alita, Adidas slides that yeah. she did for Shoe Dazzle. They're very cute. Can, well, can I just say something about Erica? Just uh, to give a side of erica oh boy. oh wow somebody <laughs> knows somebody who is just gonna knows erica so well all now. i'm gonna okay. say is this i bet you do know her more than tom Jordan. Uh, <laughs> all i'm gonna say about erica is what what i'm coming for her <laughs> in this show about is these uh confessionals these testimonials because she's bringing 
a level of game that I have not seen on the show you in mean a long looks time. Wise? Look, look, look? Look, look is great, <laughs> look is great because that look is great. But she's drinking that champagne, yeah, and she is firing out fucking ha- like every time she's like, "I'll see her at the next wedding," like whatever. Like she's like she's just hammering jokes. She's making that a performance. Yes. Like I think like her testimonials are great. She's she a great housewife. That is not what a okay. debate right now, Paul. That's not okay, up for right, debate. All right. So you're just saying she's not doing. It. <laughs> I'm saying her music. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I'm saying. Oh, and her, I'm, saying, I'm saying. But I'm also her saying her this year. Like I just think she's doing what she's done. But I feel like Lisa's upping the ante. Yes. Dorit's up the ante. Even Teddy's put a beachy wave in her hair. But oh, we're talking. We're talking pure no, love. No, no, just like. I thought she'd bring more. Like, she's not a part of the storylines. She's kind of not let us into her world with Tom. But we got this great thing where she brings – they have this church in their house we didn't know about. I mean, that was – I mean <sighs> – I mean, we've seen her chapel side a few times. I don't know. I just yeah. feel like she's not in it. Hmm. Interesting. All right. I, but look, y- 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 you know her better than all I of us. You know. So maybe I, I she's think, got plans. Do you, you know, know of that? I, I think <laughs> – I, I think what we you seem to know her inside out. I, yeah. uh, what I what I think we have to do with Erica here is understand <laughs> that okay. that a good team player knows when to let the let hold them per- and knows when to hold well, yeah, them. Well, you know, look when other people are scoring, you sit back. You're like, They're hot. I'm gonna go back. So she's supporting. She's on that Teddy Rena. Honestly, side. I've been holding back, Paul, since you got here. Oh, really? Yeah, you're go hot. Go. You're you're hot tonight. <laughs> you got it. You got it. No, but you know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. I do feel like she's like. Because there's no place for her to insert herself. Like, there's so many, like, she Okay, to, I'm agreeing with you. Yeah. I'm hearing this. But, I, and so I think what she's doing is she's doing color commentary. And I'm there for that. Wow, mm. color commentary. But I, I think, she, because we have seen in previews, it seems like she's going to get more involved. But in a season where all we have is puppy gate. Mm-hmm. Bring me something. And I do feel the I right. feel the absence without Lisa. And like now we're going to Camille's wedding with no Lisa. It feels like we're gonna be now relying on these girls. Also, why is Erica off on tour when I need her to be filming? Do you need her to be filming? Although filmed. I looked at the tour, it was five cities, one city a week. We did ten shows in four days, Danielle, <laughs> in five cities. <laughs> like we're a little hungrier for her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we gotta feed our baby. <laughs> she does five it's a five city tour over right. the course of the And there five is weeks. no way that she is making more money than she is spending on that Can tour. The way that she tours. I would like to go and see that show. As would I. Uh, As would I completely. I feel like it will be and like what I think I like like about her is I see her not just phoning it in. And I think that's mm. important, especially Oh, she doesn't phone it yeah, in. Yeah, she doesn't phone it in. Like I, I think on a show like you know, with these when you get a level of success, mm. you can just be like, I'm going to show up to the club and they'll eat But whatever. I think this I, is her dream. I think to sing and yes. dance and be a and star And I do like how open dream. about it she is. She's like, look, in my late 30s, I had an opportunity come my way. And mm-hmm. here I am. I'm like, I'm waiting for that opportunity myself. Oh, me. Where do you think she – where can she dive in? I think what is unfortunately the problem this year is everyone has – teamed up against LVP so you can't I like, wish she'd taken LVP to dinner and been like come on what the fuck's going on what happened right. and like taken her on inserted herself and maybe not taken in easy like I'm just gonna watch and see what happens like mm-hmm. get in get in but and I, I think she will get in but I just am I know we've talked about the season for a long time but I do feel we need more from yeah. Beverly Hills Shall we transition to another performer in the Bravo universe I just want to say one thing Please. it is getting the highest ratings Help. ever gotten a big deal Jesus Paul <laughs> 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 info from you <laughs> it is it's it is. working people okay. it's working okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. we can, i guess we, we yeah. don't want to change a thing we're wrong i don't want to change so a hair sorry. on teddy's no. head I, no but i would like to have some more plot lines that's why i think the brett kavanaugh thing <laughs> Look, was so i exciting. love it i hope that goes without saying i will watch them do nothing forever and i never want camille's wedding to end no but do, yeah i'm okay very briefly, my realtor told me yesterday that Maurizio is considered amongst the real estate world as one of the nicest guys ever, and his love for his wife is real and enduring. Oh. I believe Just all had that to be true. Well, you know what? I believe all that to he's be like, true. He's like, he's so in love with that wife. He said, Kyle? Well, yeah, I know her name. <laughs> <laughs> guys, what's I like Kyle a lot. I do, too. I do, too. Like Kyle, she's great. She's really good, and I feel like she's really, I feel like from when I've found her to now, I feel like <laughs> she's like, she's really, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> what I'm feeling about <laughs> you seem to have very close relationships yeah, with them. So far, she's not tweeted at me. I think I'm angry either. because I feel like we've been here waiting for these relationships, and Paul dives in and he's like friends with them all now and like yeah. has <laughs> personal relationships. And I've just been here waiting all uh, the Although whole time. Paul, You're like the I new girl in school. You've like you've 
gotten in with them because we have people that not tagging because I'm terrified that exactly what happened to you yeah. will happen. I don't yeah. want you don't want Ellen Judy McAvoy. Stein coming yeah. at it. Yeah. Me. yeah, no, 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 no. But you really are on the front lines out there. I'm trying. You know, look, you're fighting the battles that we're if, afraid to fight. If I get to the reunion, <laughs> you seem to like you're going. I would like to be there. I mean, of course, I'd like to be. <laughs> look, there. I'm gonna say something that nobody's gonna like, especially not my dearly beloved Andy. But should he ever step aside, Paul? Oh. Well, Paul. Was the way, you know, at you know, first he, of all, he, like, first of all, he played a clip of Hot Wives of me playing him. Yeah, it was my proudest. On, it, I, I screamed. I was, was so excited. Crazy. And he's like, I got You're I, in I, it. I, How yeah. electrifying. And he was like, I got to watch that. <laughs> I was like, he doesn't watch. Um, it was fun. Like, he's such a good guy I, I, and uh, a nice guy. Like, I mean, you feel I, close to him, too. It's yeah, nice. it seems like, wow, you got we, right in I there. Mean, Andy and I definitely uh, did. We Marco Polo, John Mayer after the show. Yeah, we did. What? <laughs> did you bring him that pillow? Yeah, give him the pillow. <laughs> that was like a big thing on air. I gave him the pillow. He really loved it. He, he did bring uh, it home. You know, you always commit to things, and I, I'm loving these relationships. I'm curious who you have relationships with in the Vanderpump universe. Anyone? No, I mean, you, I, I, you just haven't to? gotten in there yet. I mean, look, uh, look. I, I mean, Stassi. I, I have mean, you read a book? I mean, I, I I would like actually I want to read Stassi's book. Basic I do bitch. Too. Yeah, basic bitch. I love the cover shoot of that. Yeah, mm -hmm. it I felt like I was like you figure something out and this is great. Yeah. Ice vanilla latte was smart. Yeah, yeah, yes. it was great. And like when she was just reacting naturally to the conversation off camera, I was like, this is yeah. the best book cover Perfect. I've ever yeah. seen in my Perfect. life. Now, those breasts, and I'm sorry oh, to put you in this position, Paul, but those breasts in the testimonials. Pendulous. <laughs> I am just. I, I will say that I that's. I transfixed. Yes. Vanderpump so. Rules breasts are really on display in an aggressive way that make me like, it makes yeah. me feel a little bit shy almost. I'm like, <laughs> I, I don't want to look at my I'm, screen. <laughs> I am not sure if I'm attracted or disgusted. Like, like I have sort of like, I'm, I cannot look away from Stassi's bulging yep. Beautiful, heaving. heaving, but then when she's in like full clothes, they don't that, they seem don't, that like, big. In that blue, like sort of turquoise. Yes, we all know the one because Vanderpump <laughs> yeah. they do one testimonial look. Yeah, they're yeah. like, you know what, we're good. We're gonna film it one night. I, I mean, this is my first exposure to Vanderpump Rules. Um, and it I, is an exposure. <laughs> oh, I mean, and I've I've heard a lot. I've listened. I've listened to your show, obviously, and I've heard a lot. And I and I've I've seen these characters around, but this is a show that I want to go much deeper in. Yeah, and I yeah. think what I love is, see, I mean, and I know you've talked about this, but the shitty Hollywood apartments on mm -hmm. display are really like, give me something like when uh when what's his face when uh was it is it tom is that his probably name? Yeah. Uh, when, <laughs> when he was like show, when he was showing off his shark tooth yeah. um yeah. uh yeah when like he was dusting he was dusting he, that dude has never dusted anything mm -hmm. in his life like what like that's when i like it feels so fake but it also feels so real and well, there's I so many yeah, they, they do a great realest. job with it feeling fake and real yeah it's like there's an undercurrent it. of real, but it's like that undercurrent is sadness. Yes, it's, and you it's know what the other other, the, I think one of the most real things on the entire show is Jax's anger. Jax's oh yeah. Anger oh Jax is so palpable. Like during those therapy sessions and stuff, it but is. Therapist was looking at him like, "Do I need to call authorities?" Yeah. Jax also, by the way, can we just say... We're all, like, whispering. Like, we're afraid of Jax right I mean, now. Yeah, just, Jax I, lives nearby. I mean, ultimately, but afraid we're Afraid and attracted. <laughs> well, you know how I feel about Jax. I would He's sleep with him in a sec. He's got mad hair. A any therapist that is willing to go on camera, let's just say that that's not a good therapist, I right? I know. And I, I look, do I want to be there? Absolutely. <laughs> I need to be in that thing. But I have no faith. Like, Jax in that thing, like... I have faith in the woman that was healing Stassi. Oh <laughs> uh, well, that was she's an exorcist. Okay, woman, yeah. like that's the different. Penis like, with the angel wings. Sorry, Jesus. go on, Paul. About, uh, no, but I I am worried about that. When Jax was like, yeah, me cheating on her made her stronger. Yeah, like it yeah. made her stronger. And he's like, and I'm not saying every man should do it, but like she can stand up to people now. Like she knows who she is now, and she has she should thank me. Is what the vibe? What wasn't even the vibe? I mean, he said that it's, it was shocking. It's textbook abuser behavior, right? I mean, yes. to a certain degree. I mean, I'm yes, not, 100. percent Yeah, I mean, it's she's sort of like, like I can stand up for myself now because Jack's cheated on me. She's mm -hmm. like, well, that is true. I'm stronger. <laughs> 
it's gaslighting shocking. 101. I was yeah. like, and his his anger is right there. It's yeah, when she bug. was like, well, sometimes, and she said it so sweet. She's yeah. like, sometimes, you know, I just do struggle. I do think about when he cheated. He's like, you never told me that. <laughs> like, you just cheated on her. Yeah. While watching an old woman. <laughs> yeah, while an old woman was in, 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 hospice, a, in hospice next to you in the same room. Oh, Paul, same room. This is like, Depraved. I mean, the, these people are, th- what I love about it, there was a show I used to love on MTV uh, about that place, Saddle Ranch. Uh-huh. Um, oh, yeah. And it, w- and it gave me the same mm-hmm. feeling that I got from that show, which was like, it's sad, it's sweaty, it's desperate, it's very emotional. I'm here. I'm in it. And you loved it. I oh. love it. I mean, just the whole the whole thing of uh, what's his face getting uh, the money to go in the brief. Yeah, Tom. To the Tom. Get <laughs> Don't Tom. Don't say Tom. Tom. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, it, there's something so. Ama- I mean, who? Oh, sorry. And then I'm sorry, I don't remember oh, anybody's please, name. It's the fine. woman whose father died. Lala. And then, Lala. Lala. When Lala sings and telling you an emotional song about <laughs> her father, and then takes off her clothes for the emotional song about her dad. Guys, like, I love that song. <laughs> great I song. Weird choice song. of Guys, choreography for her to take that blazer off and throw it in the audience, breasts out about her father. Paul, you are right. It was. I Unbelievable. I mean, that was crazy. <laughs> she did she, look amazing. She looked amazing, and I liked the song. It reminded me of Madonna's, like, oh, father, you never wanted to live that way. <laughs> 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 you never wanted to hurt Is me. Is Lala a singer? Mm, Is Madonna question. a singer? It doesn't But But matter. Madonna is a performer. So is Lala. You think Lala is? I don't know if Lala I'm is. I'm not saying she's Madonna, guys. I'm not. Who okay, do you let's, think? Let's, Erica let's, Jane versus hmm. Lala. Oh, Erica Jane. Right, but see, I see, Erica Jane's performance still does leave me wanting a little more. She's got like the trappings Lala of like is the top. Raw. Erica Jane's not raw. She's so you, polished to a T. You're saying Lala Lady, is raw. You're saying Lady Gaga early part of Star Is Born. That's that's Lala. To no, you. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lala is at, later Lady Gaga. Star Is oh, Born yeah. because yeah. her boyfriend is is footing the bill. Why didn't he show up? He just doesn't want to be in the show. Randall? Randall? I appreciate that. Whenever someone doesn't show up, I appreciate it. Yeah. I, when that happens on The you Bachelor. You respect them more? I do. It's like when a dad doesn't want to show up because his daughter in The Bachelor, I'm like, smart man, <laughs> or smart, or like whatever. It happens woman, so man. rarely. It, it yeah. happens so rarely that you go like, that's the sign of someone in this family has brand intelligence. Like, I believe that Let the whole reason. Let me pull up a photo of Rand, though, Paul, while we're chatting. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like that's why, I mean, not to go back to Beverly Hills, but that's why Puppy Gate is out in this thing because whoever got that dog is smart enough to be like, I ain't going on camera. No, I feel like I've seen them in like a tweet though. Oh really? Really? Yeah, someone sent it to me. Like Ooh. I know who had Lucy Juicy applesauce or whatever. So. Now or yeah. oh no, now? Who has her now not okay, but them. I'm saying like the one that Dory gave it to. No, but that person sh- is probably ashamed because they gave it to. But a that doesn't. But that doesn't mean that they wouldn't want to be on TV. Like that. Yeah, I feel like they wouldn't. People oh, would come boy. for them. He looks like a, a manager. <laughs> I just pulled up a photo of a Rand. Hollywood manager. He produced that movie Gotti. That just oh came out. Oh my god! Yeah. And then Lala. Oh my no, god! Oh my god! And Lala said that it was rejected because people, you know, people don't, don't like, like horror gang- movies, like gangster <laughs> movies. <yeah. laughs> <laughs> she said in the history, like that's not a genre people like. If people don't like that, they don't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, literally a Broadway musical about the Bronx Tale on Broadway right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a movie of a the movie Godfather. About, about, I know the Godfather. For me, those play, there's a million. It's like literally, it's not even. It's a genre. It's, <laughs> it's a, a g- thriving genre. It's a thriving genre all its own. Yeah. And yeah. she was like, so yeah, people but don't like that. I love Lala. Lala is. I like Lala. I want to get into the band. I want to be like, who is this band that's backing her? She does not know a name of a and person in that And why does Sheena, band? like, back there in the huddles and stuff? But Sheena, what, back she, there? Yeah, she was yeah. giving the high five, the, like, the, you know, hands oh, in the middle. I don't remember that. That show felt, to me, like a bringer show. Like, it's like. Yes. But it, but it even felt worse than a bringer show because it felt like she just rented a room and she invited 20 people that she knew. It wasn't like there was no people off the street. Like, if you told me that that show happened at 3 in the afternoon, I'd be like, yeah, that makes sense. And then to set up the cameras that people were watching live? Yeah, yeah. like s- Skyping Someone in? in Century City was like, I'm not driving that far. <laughs> yeah. And then that person didn't even exist. No. no. I'm worried about Lala, and I think she's absolutely making the right decision when she said she's, you know, getting sober, I thought, yeah. yes, this is right. Her anger, Ariana was right to confront her. Like, mm-hmm. yes, things are going on with her father, but that her anger is just 
proportionate. Anger is a thing on this show. Mm -hmm. I mean, people Mm -hmm. are... People are seething. Because there's so much alcohol and they're seething. Yeah. uh, I mean, alcohol is... I mean, obviously plays a large part in all these shows, but I feel like these people are... Because they're... I think, honestly, because they're a little bit poorer they they can't get away from like they have to like live in it a little bit more they get sloppier very qu- quicker or something and that's their job weirdly is to yeah. drink and so they're justifying it and it's just i mean i'm the angriest person that you'll meet but lala even i was like ooh, this she's heading down a path that's mm-hmm. not good yeah but i think she is sober now yeah and yes, has no but while. i was happy to hear that like on should the show. lala go get exercise too it seems I mean, everyone. I think everyone. Kristen needed to exercise her whole personality, oh, and Christ. she just. Now I feel like sorry, not Kristen, Katie. <laughs> sorry, Katie. Katie well, Kristen too, there. both of them. But now, sometimes on Vanderpump, you're like, these are some of the dumbest people I've ever seen mm. in a reality show. It's are you nothing. talking about the puppy party? Well, with then Raquel? we meet Raquel, and oh. you're like, she takes. Wow. Raquel. I've never. We've never experienced someone like Raquel before. No, I like haven't. Raquel. I okay. do too. What, um, Casey? This is remember what, what about what, what, what about was my controversial Raquel? opinion? Do you guys remember my controversial opinion when I was Santa, who I liked a lot? He, uh, <laughs> was it? Was it um, I want to say her name was like Megan or something. She was like Megan King, King Edmonds. Yeah. Okay, so this is in line with Megan King Edmonds. <laughs> yeah, this is exactly the same. Megan King Edmonds was much brighter. So than do Raquel. you like Teddy as well? Teddy, you I like Teddy. Teddy. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Well, I mean, I, I, I know like you're Teddy. Team Teddy, but I couldn't help but think it was like you're not Team Vanderpump. But right. no, Teddy, I, I, all I, these women are of a piece. Yeah, I, I mean, I, well, I will say that like Raquel definitely is my favorite of those three that you just mentioned, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> I, I, because I what I like about it was just like she was running that puppy shower. Mm-hmm. Which, by the way, why was everybody having, oh, I'm having such a hard time remembering that name? It's not a not complicated puppy shower, baby well, shower, because puppy it's shower. Not a f- Thing. Yeah. And so you, you didn't have any any problem with it as a concept. Nope. <laughs> Loved it. Loved it. I mean, what what are we doing on this show? Like, of course. Like, it was great. Like the dog. I know everybody's the... had like their own party for everything. So asked yeah. nine, and they're like, "I'm sorry, what, Raquel? You're bringing me to what? It's like you're just drinking, and there's a a a, 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 a small theme around it. Like she painted a picture of a dog. You're gonna go put some but ears on it. They, she made them play shower games. And then put made Ariana put that cone on. I felt like Ariana really gave her all. At yeah, the and yeah, Ariana is a great actress. Although it did make me die laughing when, like, with no music or anything, Ariana was like, "Sometimes I think when people are saying their dogs have emotions, it's them." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we like cut to black. It's like, what's happening? Yeah, that was. I mean, it it was sad. Well, Do you think James is in love with Raquel? I felt like actually, because James obviously talked a little ang- a little angry. Has it as yeah. again? As, no as one's everyone. ever cried more on a reality show than James. James I've never he's we, he he's wants never not in, crying. and and I think Raquel lets him in, and I think like he's a person who wants <laughs> to get behind those closed doors, and and Raquel right now seems to be the only person letting him behind any closed doors, you know. So I feel like <laughs> you know any port in a storm for him. Do you uh, think he's cheating on Raquel? I don't think for so. sure think he so? is for sure. Really? Yes. Because I think he can get away with it, and he knows that. Mm. So why not? He's you young. People, people want to go well, after people him. Well, people have screamed yes. in Raquel's face, like, he's cheating and he's cheating on you. And Raquel's like, what am I supposed to do when they say this, James? Well, it's, oh, boy. But th- this was, a, this was a, a, a bit ago, the beginning of the season. <laughs> yeah, I mean, is he doing it right now? Po- possibly. Yeah. You know, like, but, you know, I, I it's don't also think this relationship contrived. is a keeper. I mean, it feels like she's having this puppy shower because she wants to forward their relationship in a serious way. I mean, it's clearly like, it's like, this is what we would do if we had kids. And she wants to move it forward. But I feel like he was there to play. Like, he wasn't against it. No, he He was was there 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 for it. And he Mm -hmm. was asking people face to face if they could attend. And even in the Mm -hmm. testimonial, when they said, like, why are you doing this? He was like, (laughs) because Raquel wants to. Like, he wasn't like, oh, Raquel. He was like, she wants to do it. Um, I, it felt like he was. It's like, most oh, animated I've ever seen Raquel. You know, she's normally so kind of yeah. Like she reminds me sometimes of like the Manson women that yeah. surrounded. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, someone said that about her. Lala did. Oh yeah, she was oh, no, like, was it Stassi? I think it was Stassi. And then she's like, "Who's Charles Manson?" Yeah. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> they were right. <laughs> I, 
any other thoughts on Vanderpump? Just the Hollywood shaman of it all. We, if we want to touch down on her. I mean, yeah, I want to talk about that exorcism just a little bit. Like that, she was on a Mario Brothers cloud. Like that's what she saw. Like her exorcism was <laughs> like seeing a video game cloud. Not just like I've seen a cloud, a beautiful cloud in the sky. Like no, no, I'm seeing an eight bit Mario Brothers cr- a cloud. That's her. That's her quiet peaceful place like <laughs> a, a shitty computer graphic cloud i mean it was wild like that's where she went to in her soul just seeing that woman sort of go like huh! you know and everybody being like yeah this i mean again would i go to this woman in a heartbeat yeah. do i yeah. need her number and now? i've been in of many of those types of i like, mean it circles. felt like to me she was like basically saying um she was brainwashed her to be exercised like i feel like yeah. like they're the same way that like that uh, when Rena got out of that that UV bed, she's like, "I feel great." She then you don't feel great. Like yeah. you sat, you sat for quiet for twenty minutes, and you of course you, you just meditated. Yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, I'm into all these LA things too. I mean, me too. I, I'll do it all. You I'm, know, June and I started doing that thing, Shape House. You know, where you just like lie in an aluminum yeah. like what? sack, and it's like really hot, and you watch shows and you sweat. This what? is what June got minutes. into Narcos. Now she's like all in on Narcos. It's how I got in on Pen Fifteen, the best show I've ever seen in my life. On Hulu. I need um, to get it. Like, June's very into the sweat house. Yeah, I am too. You feel so good. Like, your skin is so smooth. I slept amazing. Apparently, June and I's trainer said that it your metabolism speeds up like crazy and you, you it's just good go, for your immune system. Oh, where so, is this And place? It's, a, it's like the equivalent of a workout. It's on Larchmont. <laughs> this is not an ad. <laughs> you like, because I clearly know all about it. You like sit in like an aluminum, like, yeah, I, I don't you even sweat know. It out. Yeah, you sweat. I want to do it. Do, do, do men do it? Oh, yes. Everyone does it. I would do and it. And it gets hot. By the end, you're like counting down the minutes. Is it like hot aerobics, basically? I mean, I, I you're mean, lying um, in a bed, like a sleeping bag of hot heat, <laughs> and it's just heating up all around you. And you're watching TV with headphones on, and you can't even get your all you can get is a little handout to do the Roku. <laughs> uh, amazing. Um, the one thing I want to just play, you know, not to go back to Vanderpump, and maybe I'm weird about this, but I don't know why it struck me as weird, but. The tuna, well, oh, you know, now I realize it's not weird. I was like, I thought the tuna and couscous was a weird order, but I'm realizing it was probably just cooked tuna. I thought she was like getting like, <laughs> like sashimi. It stuck out on, to me too. I don't know why tuna and couscous didn't yeah. seem like a great mix. It there. stuck out to me too. And sorry to go back to Vanderpump and Beverly Hills, but why does she keep equating this new kitchen with Kyle being in there? Oh, when she started She's, like beating up the kitchen. I know. I thought that was just. It She's felt like, to me like she was standing it in right there. there. She's so in, kind of entitled. It's just like. I, I believe me, I know her brother passed, but it almost like Oh, she's just, hanging up on that. She's she's dining out on that a lot. Yeah. But I would actually rather her talk about her brother yes. passing than the Kyle of it all. Like Kyle was just going to talk to her. Yeah. But also it feels like I mean, I love the face of that contractor who I feel like is not good at having a good contractor face. Like you see him like he's so blank, he's just like Money, 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 yeah, money. Yeah, he's, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He's, like, he's like, continue working, everyone. <laughs> oh, should we take a quick break? <laughs> Guys, we're back. Should we move to Atlanta? Of course we should move to Atlanta. Oh, oh boy. So my second favorite uh, is Atlanta. Yeah, I love Atlanta. I love Atlanta. <laughs> Me too. Uh, Atlanta, I, my entry point was... Um, the uh, good and evil pictures. Remember oh, that? Oh yeah, yeah, so long yeah, ago. Yeah, so long ago. But that's like, and I love these women. And uh, and if I could get like an, a gif of like uh, Andy saying uh, "nuck if you're buck," like I just want, <laughs> I want that. I want that. Like him, him repeating it back, like "nuck if you're buck." I'm like, I want it all. <laughs> um, Portia had so many good one liners oh in this reunion. I know. I can't like this just nine months pregnant, just sitting there, but also that heartfelt speech she gave to Nini when mm. she was like so upset when Nini was like, like I don't care about you basically. And Portia got really upset about like I I love her so much. She is one of the best housewives we've ever had. What what is up with Nini? Because I feel like she yeah. is taking some very hard stances on some very indefensible things. Like, I mean, it, like, she's just, she's like, yeah. I Like, she's not, there's no, uh, I made a mistake. I should have gone a little oh, bit easier. God, no, there's yeah. no, there, there's no, like, I feel like she's gotten more and more rigid. And I have to say, like, in in watching, you know, various parts of this season of Atlanta, 
I feel like I'm not enjoying her as much as I used to. Yeah. Because I think that she's, she's in such a dark place and she's lashing out and she's not leaving any room for like any two way. And also her sarcasm and her sort of like, okay, like just that sort of like passive aggressive and aggressive. Oh, aggressive. do you? Oh, did you think we were friends? Yeah, it's like cool. that shit is so mean. I don't give a There's shit nothing about you, yeah. yeah. You can't come back from you. It's someone just kind of almost like mocking you. It's really hard. She did to watch. say, I feel blessed to have the greatest discernment of all time <laughs> um, she hates everyone it's I'm, really hard to watch and for her to cite marlo to be her only friend right now but i think portia would have been her friend but she turned on portia in such a strange, strange way. way and cynthia when cynthia was hugging andy like two weeks ago and he she was crying and, and andy hugged her mm-hmm. he loved cynthia so much yeah, you yeah. can tell i'm like poor cynthia has been there for her when she keeps saying portia and people aren't there for her it's a tough look it's yeah. a tough look. And yeah. because people do, you can tell people want to be there for Nini in this time, and people do feel, and she has, like, she's bought a lot of sympathy and sense of, like, they're going some, through something really real and really hard, and people are giving her a lot of leeway. But no, they but she's, like, fucking so hard with Greg. Like, when he comes yeah. out there, like, I lost every bit of sympathy for her because she's, r- she's rough on him. And I understand, like, she is rough he may not him. be a great guy but like I, don't, I mean i think he is a good guy i think greg is a good guy but i also think she's not wrong when she's saying like you don't see what i see with greg like he, i'm going through it he seems all nice mm-hmm. but like he's acting different at home and even before the cancer she's also angry because she's been trying to get him screened for a long time and he didn't do you know what i mean like she has a lot he of anger that in about from that. having like how many Alka Seltzer a week or something like and that? And then she had been telling him to go to a doctor, and he hadn't said it. Like so, there's anger about that. And then also, she said we were having problems even before. Like they got divorced once. So of like, course. were they and divorced again? No, they're like, together. I mean, because I thought there's some gossip going on right now. Really? I, I mean, I, I, I mean, okay. I'm, uh, all right. Well, I, I want to bring some gossip to the to the okay, table yeah. here because this intersects with one of uh, a great guest of ours. So when Nini last week was shouting over and over again that the reason that she did not attend Portia's shower was because she was filming a show in Canada. Oh, she was yeah. filming a pilot created and written by our very own Matthew McConaughey. I know. A, a, so. Like a, like electricity went through <gasps> me because I felt connected to she her. She kept screaming, I was in Canada, and I wanted to be like, Matt, we'll come out and attest to this. Yeah, I was like, we know you were, Nene. Um, <laughs> that when she's the breadwinner, and that's why she's got to go out so great. Yes. Can get, yeah, but yes. by the way, so two days ago on page six, um, they said that they are, uh, they're considering, uh, they're considering a divorce. Oh, oh boy. Oh. But, you know, Matt said they had been FaceTiming, and oh, God, I'm sorry to hear that, and I, I do believe Obviously, your source. Yeah, I mean, look, I mean, incredibly it, it, sound. I mean, it's page six, so they don't lie. They, they don't lie. Yeah, um, of course not. Can I ask you both, as uh, women who have had children, sure, is right. red wine while pregnant fine? Yeah. I, I mean, I think so. I think so. Uh, for past the first trimester. Okay. A glass a week. I mean, I don't okay. think it's a bit. I mean, okay. like, uh, that's a thing. Red yeah, wine like, is I don't fine. think it's, uh, I mean, I don't think you're downing it, but I think if you have like a little s- okay, sips here sips. and there. It was so I'm sure we'll hear about this, yeah. but I think, I think it's great. Okay. Know. No, I, I, I'm not, I'm not, I was, it was said so passionately that it didn't seem true. I felt just offensive of her. Yeah. I was like, it's fucking it's hard to be pregnant. Fuck alone. Yeah. But by the way, um, was it Portia who had the best line? She said that. She was pregnant the moment we were monogamous. Yes, that killed me. She's like, okay, because everyone was like, yeah. she was like, okay, then we, I, then I was monogamous the minute I got pregnant. pregnant yeah, like, was, that yeah. killed me. Best I was like, line. Uh, it was. She it had was so many good ones. She it. was killing me. I still lick all those tattoos just the same. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I love it's so it. good. It's so good. Oh, I liked when Shamari and Eva kind of went back and forth about each other's terrible looks. Oh, <laughs> just God. like they're both wearing oh, the worst yeah. dresses I've ever Eva seen. Eva and his, her Zara shoes. I was like, I love it. <laughs> and Eva's looking very good with yeah, that short she hair. Great. Portia's hair a bit askew during the. I was like, could someone come out? Oh, <laughs> I mean, look the the buy a wig party. First of all, mm. was great. Oh, uh, sure. What is in the closet? What is well, in the closet, Danielle? I think it was just not ready. You know, wasn't like the camera clo- ready. I, I don't think it was camera ready. Everyone, ha- okay. you know, she was sh- throwing stuff. Well, around because Nini had like run upstairs uh-huh. in you know tears. So and the cameras followed up. So I guess she was like, I wasn't she intending. She ripped a man's shirt off to <laughs> prevent him from going into that yeah. closet. <laughs> yes. And and it, 
I guess, yeah, I guess. And the belt, like that. We don't know what's happened yet. That's next week. Yeah, something's going on with the belt. But everyone is real, like weird and silent about it. And like, what do we think? I think Jess said it last week, or no, I think Lyric. You weren't here that week, but Lyric said, like, I think maybe she grabbed not knowing, and because Portia's pregnant, everyone got real nervous about it. Like, she just was grabbing, and she didn't realize maybe, again, this was, I think. Nini was grabbing? Yeah, like, she was just trying to get them out of her closet, not thinking about, again, this was, I I, I can't remember. So it was was a a mistaken grab. Yeah, like a mistaken grab, but because... Portia's pregnant like everyone was like wait what the fuck are you doing but I don't think Nini was like I'm grabbing this pregnant woman right. you know what she I mean was, like, she was in a moment of complete and utter like I need to stop this yeah but I think that's just a theory we don't know what's okay. happened yet but that theory but makes sense to it didn't just seem like me. someone who's angry people were going in their closet it felt like she was hiding something that was in the closet yeah. I think that's it was I a mess like and she was always something. bragging about stuff in her closet and because it was such a mess and not put together and right and that is like the whole housewife thing is like your closet looks amazing right. yeah. and also it's because like she had Tether in there, the so roach, like us issue. <laughs> and because of the roach issue, sure, of uh, from last season with Kim Zolciak, like I do think she's very protective of like what is seen of her house yeah. mm. because she has been burned before. I felt really sad when Nini was making fun of Cynthia's uh, hashtag. Yeah, you can't do that. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> I think so clear. Nini, Cynthia's just like so in Cynthia's love. Finally happy. Cynthia's had some rough years with Peter, with mm. Papa Smurf. Yeah. And she finally has some happiness. Like, you and know, Nini she's. Nini is. It's Nini that's the most unsupportive and friend. So no, she's the worst. Yeah, she, well, she's, Nini's she going. Not worst. only is she unhappy, but she is going through this terrible health, you know, cancer thing with, with Greg. And so she's deeply unhappy, both in her relationship and because of what's going on in his health. And so to see someone have happiness is very threatening to me. Mm. Yeah, well, I think that she also wants to be, like, on top of... Yes. Yeah, she just wants to be, like... I think she wants to be the most important. She wants to be the most... Like, the show revolves around her. I think that's, like... Then she's kind of losing control, and so she's lashing out. And it's... And I think it is a form of control, and not to go back to LVP, but I think it's the same (laughs) idea. If If you burden yourself with these issues, and not to say that, you know, you can take your issues that are real... But make them define you. Like that's what I think they were mm. doing. They're saying, no, no, you can't be mad at me. I have the worst thing. I like look. Like it's a, basically you're just taking, you're you're taking that attention. And like, they have similarities because both of them are the person that's like calling out Erica Jane. Like you didn't give me enough thank you card. You're yeah. not there for me. That quality is such a bad quality. Mm-hmm. It's like if you don't feel people are there for you, it, it's so even worse than mm-hmm. to, 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 to and say I think it. That Unless they it's want like a spouse. behavior excused because of what they're going through and people will excuse it to a point and then they start saying, okay, we know you're going through something. It is awful. We are still trying to be your friend, but you can't be terrible to us. Like, yeah. that's not fair. We've, you know, like, so I think both yeah. people are dealing with that. And Lala's in that spot. Yes. Lala and Nini are in a very similar mm-hmm. spot. What do you guys think about the uh, the fish cam? Loved it. I was so interested in that choice that they kept on going into the camp. It's not doing anything for it me. It did a lot for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's, an, it's, a, it's an aggressively it's a odd choice. choice. I don't think wrote it's down, working. love the fish cam. <laughs> and thank like, you, editors, I wrote. I think it was, on paper, the best idea yeah. ever. And in execution, it was even better. <laughs> to, to hear them underwater talking for moments. Like, <gasps> Wait, even, it like, was different, guys. Go, they tried some things. <laughs> they tried some things, but... That reminds me in New York, I think it was last week or two weeks ago, when they start laughing about the fish room and Ramona and Sonia start laughing, it is in a pitch like birds where it made me ashamed to be a woman where yeah. they're like, hey, hey, hey. I don't want to scream because your children are asleep. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I've never heard women laugh like this. And it was upsetting to me. Like, just like we're a bunch of cackling. And look, that's what the fish were hearing. Yeah. I mean, the fish, I mean, these fish were brought in. They were jumping. Against their will. Yeah, they were jumping. They're scared. They were. They were terrified. (laughs) I love anyone being scared of a fish, a koi fish. I would have been running. Me too. (laughs) They were all very, very scared. By the way, I mean, is the theme of the reunion just because of the Japan episode? I mean, that's. Look, sometimes you're you're stretching to find a Speaking of, guys, my father just came back from Japan. Oh. And sent these fashions for my son. Oh, wow. that's pretty amazing. Little mini kimono. <laughs> I wish I got that. It looks like a smoking jacket. It looks like bright smoking jacket. I love it. 
<laughs> I would like to see both of I them. I know. I want to see them. In I mean, look, I brought back my son a ninja shirt. Like, by the way, one of the most amazing trips I've ever taken. I went to Tokyo with my dad. We had an amazing time. I brought back a ninja shirt for my son and a Godzilla shirt for my others. And I was like the most dumb touristy thing. Like I had him, I saw so much culture. I didn't see like touristy stuff. And I was like, Godzilla shirt? Yeah, sure. Ninja <laughs> thing. It's like, it's like literally the As dumbest. Stacy, Stassi, I called her Stacy. Yeah. Sorry, wow. everybody. You did a Jesse, Jesse Smollett kind yeah. of thing. That's a Stassi, Stacy. Stacy, as Stassi <laughs> would say, um, basic bitch. Basic bitch, a hundred percent. Basic bitch. I'm basic bitch. Get my minivan and just drive off. Paul, yeah. speaking of minivans, okay. I have to say, guys, I just posted something on Instagram because I, Paul, I'm getting a minivan, and you know this. Yes, well, because we both are obsessed with the but minivan. But we didn't know that we were both no. obsessed with the same type of minivan. Because all right, so you post on, uh, you post on your Instagram yep. that you're like a minivan family now, and you have this great picture of this awesome Pacifica, and I go. I'm actually at the yeah. Pacifica dealership right now looking at this car, which is, I mean, it is like the Mercedes of minivans. <laughs> That's right? what they call it. So Dave and I are posing in front of it because we're renting one for a month. And Dave was like, uh, you know, first you have your feelings. Yeah, you know? I don't have a minivan and I'm I'm, I'm like oh. sort of frowning as you guys I know are talking about. Go and said. go. I have to say, my I loved it so instantly that it shocked me. That that's what I felt. I went like I changed in a second of sitting there. I was like, oh, I'm an American, and I need this amount of space well, and cup you holders. You'll be like, what is? Does does it change your personality? It's honestly no. enhanced it. Yeah, I I, think I it, felt emboldened. Like when I drove to my son's preschool, I did see moms like turn slowly and like look at me, and then I smiled, and they were like instantly comfortable with it. I think it's the best thing you can possibly do because you're just like, basically saying like, yeah, this is who I this am. This is who I am. I'm what not am fighting I hiding? my life right now. Yeah, yes. I love it. And, and when I look at that car, it's also a great car. And when I look at that car, I go, I literally go like this. I go. Nothing competes to it because this is what I need to feel good on the weekends when I'm traveling around with the kids. Like, I can't tell you how many times I park in my preschool and I just open up a door a quarter of an inch to <laughs> to <laughs> yank out a child. Well, I was very excited. He kept telling me it's got a vacuum because we're renting oh, it. Yeah. We're thinking about buying it. Oh, the vacuum. But look, you know, as my friend said, the only bad thing about a minivan is walking up to it. Once yeah. you're in, you're feeling I will tell you, I, I had a I good lunch one the, time, oh and I had a good, like, I had, like, a, a, like a professional, like, Hollywood lunch. I very, have very few of those. And, uh, and I was like, I left. It was like at Fred Siegel. With and, Erica Jane. Yeah. With Erica Jane. Jane. And, um, and Lisa Rinna. <laughs> and I'm walking back to my car, and, like, I was stopped by a handful of, like, I would say high school kids. And they were like, league, league, league. And I was like, hey, cool. And I was like, I took pictures of them and then walked to my minivan. And that... Those extra five steps to be like, that's my minivan. Because <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I was renting it at that point. Yeah. Was rough. It it's was all, a rough yeah. moment. Good and well until the right person strolls up. You know, but you know, I'm embracing it, Danielle. You got to get on this train. And well, here's the thing. If I'm going on a nice time. Again, not an ad. Chrysler Pacifica. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out, guys. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> yeah. I have to say I'm happy with my Toyota Prius. Uh -huh. By the way, great car. Great car. It's a Look. great car. But my husband and I were always, like, leaning in to get in, like, my daughter into her car seat. And both of our backs were like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> I literally right now I'm sitting here with, uh, like, I, I got a You're massage. Sitting in a I, have, I, have, I, have, I have, like, four muscle pulls because I'm just, like, because my kid's been potty training. And I've lifted him up. He's 43 pounds. He's <laughs> two and a half years old. And, and I lifted him up to a toilet seat. I counted on Saturday twenty five times because he was sadly had diarrhea yeah. and and so he um, he didn't know he didn't he wasn't going diarrhea every time but he was feeling it and his stomach was like Dad I gotta go and I was like okay and I knew he didn't have to go Aww. because it was uh, but it was like what a day public public like park restroom why would you public leave park the house yes. because I needed to get him out of the house yeah. I was alone with the kids we went to Universal Studios one day. And we hung out and went on like minion rides and and saw the Shrek 4D. I would be or in my house. I would be yeah, like, "You're not leaving." Newspaper on the ground. I was like, no. "You are not leaving this fucking." No, house. I got. I get out. I get yeah, out. Yeah, I get yeah. out. I get out. You gotta going. get out. Yeah, I mean, Universal Studios. <laughs> we're like walking around. We're doing it. Wow. Let's take a break. Guys, we're back with our final. Final offering, yeah. which is New York. New York. Paul, tell us where, where where is your heart and thoughts I and tell mind you. and spirit. I have a real issue with New York. I like the characters on New York, but people. I will tell the people. I but here's the thing: I have a hard time watching it because it reminds me of who I grew up with. I'm from New York. Mm. It reminds me of 
the women that were in my life that were my parents' friends, and there is a, a literally a gut reaction. I'm like, Ugh, I can't <laughs> get there. Like, I want to get there, but it's it's so it, it's like going it's home. Surreal. It's it really yeah. is, and like so, I find myself like, yes, I'm much more into like uh, you know OC or or Beverly Hills, like those uh, Atlanta. I want to be. Show me a world that you I don't know. You want to be transported to heaven. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, and New the Jersey. Fantasy. I'll take New Jersey. <laughs> it's a terrifying fantasy. Yeah. I'll take New Jersey, but in New York rubs me oddly the Which wrong way. Which women in particular? Just like all of them? Basically? Is it Dorinda? Is it Sonia Is it Morgan? Ramona? Is it Luann? I, I just think, honestly, like, like, and again, I was watching it with the two of you. I, open heart. You watch it with an open heart. Yeah, and I, and, I, and I do like these characters. I'm enjoying I, I enjoy it, and I've watched people. I, people, sorry. I've watched characters these. Characters welcome. I, I, this is not TBS. <laughs> this is real people. Uh, suits. Any, um, so, but my... Like, my but, I, <laughs> but I do feel like there is something about it that's just like, it just, like, it just reminds me of... Home. Long Island. It, like, and, 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 and I, and, yeah, and I don't, and it, like, so on that gut level, like, I, I am repulsed as much as I am, like, into it. And, like, mm. and I see him, like, in essentially, like, my city, because I grew up in, you know, I was in New York and I lived in New York for a long time. And I'm like, no, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want, mm. I don't want to see these apartments. I don't want to go upstate. I hate upstate. And then, by the way, yeah. the, I mean, the Berkshires, that was amazing. I love all that stuff. It, like, everything was great. Going to the Berkshires makes me feel a bit sick, too. Well, we know. What happens in the Berkshires? <laughs> you know, like the Berkshires is a rough place for the housewives. Things yeah. erupt. This year, we but we're like saw going through dusty Morgan mansions, and that yeah. was strange. And and Sonia's reaction, it to was it. insane. Yeah, Sonia's reaction to those papers, right? fake Morgan letters, fake letters. They looked real to me. She's not. Well, that's a their job because they're fake, right? <laughs> yes, you're they wouldn't right. just leave them out. Like they wouldn't just leave them out and like. <laughs> she was like, "These need to be under plexiglass." Yeah, yeah. it's like they're <laughs> fake. Right. Okay. Well, Dorinda made a strange decision to bring her to oh, the morgue. Dorinda was f was just poking at her. She knew this was going to set her off. I mean, yeah. this woman was set off by having like slippers with the the crest. The crest. Yeah. And by the woman who said, this is not your family crest. <laughs> she was like, I thought you'd have a little fun at the Morgan Mansion. And of course. That was truly, it was like, I, it was Blanche Dubois. Like, yeah. it was very streetcar. It was really dark. Because that is the life that We're she had. We're reading a biography on Vivian Lee. Yes. My oh. porn, it is addicting. I'm obsessed with her. Anyway, so I rewatched Streetcar because I'm a dork. Uh -huh. And I was like, this is Sonia. Oh. Like talking about like Bell Rev and like the old yeah, days. Yeah, she's like, look how the Morgans. Well, I always had curtains like this. We have very heavy curtains. <laughs> yeah, and Dorinda's like Marlon Brando, like, well, you ain't got those now. And, and no, I'm sure our young listeners are gonna love this. <laughs> <laughs> and Ramona going, get her, get her out of here, get her out of here. <laughs> I was like, I was right, I was right. I will say that this is, I, I think, sums up my whole opinion about New York. Is like. Like, remember a couple episodes ago when they were in Beverly Hills, they were like in Bermuda or Bahamas or whatever. Bah Dory, Bahamar. Yeah, yeah, Bahamar. Where, <laughs> but like, they're like in like, these parties and like they stayed out until like two in the morning and you saw like just like video phone clips. Like, they're doing that in like a, v a Verbo house in like the Berkshires. <laughs> uh -huh. Like, you know, and, like, and that to me is like the biggest difference. It's like, it's like, it's fine <laughs> if it's in a club and you're like surrounded uh -huh. by like people yeah. like, we're clubbing. It's not fine when you're just all like in someone's gross red, house. Yeah, in someone's gross house, like drinking red wine, and, and, and like, and the only, and the only other people there are the. You're, it's, a, it's like it's like a small group of friends. It's like the a worst small group of women you don't like, and everyone's yeah. so drunk. They all want to get out of there. And, and there's then Ramona in a, a negligee at like nine p.m. Love for dinner. that though. I mean, Ramona. <laughs> I do like. I do like. I, I like a yeah. Ramona. I like a Luann. I, when you know, Ramona came down with those rock hard breasts, rock and negligee hard. lifted up her. I mean, that's not Ramona. We know Ramona has yeah. made a huge evolution, like yeah. style wise. So putting her sexuality is she out com there. Oh, out competing there. with Tinsley, you think? Or yes. yes. Yeah, I mean that seems great like observation. Yes. yes. Tinsley is covered up to the every surface of Tinsley. Because she likes up. those Peter Pan collars. Yes, and she likes a like a big skirt. Or Tinsley like, is broken to go out to lunch with Luann and basically like I have no sympathy for you and I find what you triggering. What do you want from that lunch? I but you see that I mean that again. Another reason to love that show. They're, they don't hide anything yeah, either. It's just out there. It's basically like the thing you're struggling with triggers me and I have no sympathy for you yeah. because my dad and died. I blame and you may you. die too. Yeah, you will die and you'll have no one to blame <laughs> but yourself. Uh-huh. Yeah. And your children will blame you. Um, 
I just want to just put a, a just a touch on the the naked chef, which I think is a disgusting idea. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think there's anything good. I Especially because it was covered in hair too. So like, right. Someone covered in your hair while you're cooking. I don't want I don't want an ass crack near anything nope. that I'm nope. eating. And I don't I'm not saying that I, I don't think it's I, when they feel like topless maids, all this sort of stuff. I'm like, don't like this. I don't no, think this is not a, interesting. I don't like this. Is not, this is not a peanut butter and like <laughs> this is like <laughs> it's like a, 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 what is it? Peanut butter and chocolate mix. Yeah, I also don't, want my, yeah, I also don't want my sushi on a naked person. No, nope. no, oh, that's noticed. the most. Disgusting <laughs> thing mm-hmm. I've ever heard of and seen. Yep. I don't need a body shot. You know no. what? I don't need. No. Why? No. Keep it clean, people. Yeah. Keep it clean. <laughs> they have done those in Cancun on an oh, unfortunate spring. So many. Spring break <laughs> so many. <laughs> so many. Uh, I don't know about New York. I'm liking Bethany's energy. I feel like she's despite. She, I know. No, I know she's mourning. This is the breeziest I've ever seen her yes. deep in mourning. Yeah. Her grieving is a nice look because she's not so f- hard. Yes. Although that was a devastating scene with her housekeeper. I was going to say her housekeeper. She's like, mm. so she's grieving with her housekeeper? She tends to grieve with people that are paid to help her. Well, she whether tends it to is her, not even grieve, just like those are her, her people. Her driver, Kevin. You know, she th- these are her people. These are her f- closest friends. I'm worried we haven't seen Kevin. I feel like Bethany probably blows up and fires everyone <gasps> like cyclically, oh. like every year. Yeah, she reveals too much. Yeah. And then they do one small infraction. Yeah. But, but when she that can't woman, have them around her. They can't. She can't have them around. No, because yeah. she she can't keep anyone close. But that poor woman, like going mm. through photos of Dennis, and then Bethany was like, "Yeah, because that was the night. Remember, I wore that scratchy sweater. Yeah, remember it was so scratchy." And okay, that okay. woman's eyes. I, she's like, "I remember." Mm. It was like just, that new black hole we're seeing. You know, yeah, whatever that, that is, is in space. space. Black hole. We're That's uh, what it looked like. That woman. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm trying to relate to what's going on in the world. Science? And it's Bethany, like that new science we're seeing. Uh, so many people tweeted me that that's Katie Mahoney. Uh, <laughs> that black hole. Um, oh, and yeah. Bethany was kind of rocking the... Was it a face mask the morning after the Berkshire? Yeah, she had a, a, a like a wet. Her skin looked like it had like some sort of peel a on gel. it. A gel. A gel, something. It was Is a it, tough look. Do we do gels in the morning? Uh, you know... Look, <sighs> there are all sorts of serums. I will say, it. Bethany, when she wakes up from a night, she doesn't feel any need to stay camera ready. Mm-hmm. Sonia, I've never seen someone who will have such a bender and look so beautiful in the morning. Yeah, she's and then meanwhile, Luann goes to a blow up bar, fully blown out. Right? I mean, I don't know much about yeah. blowouts, but she looks That's like she was right, pretty much camera ready. <laughs> and Luann right. loves a winter white. She <laughs> like the minute you know the you know, the the temperature hits like 45 degrees she, she is, is in f- full head to toe winter whites i think actually the saddest figure this year is tinsley yeah because of her relationship with, with scott. scott and what's happening and and we know that scott and tinsley are broken up spoiler alert for anyone you know well, i didn't realize this I, I knew that tinsley and dale had been on dr phil oh boy. but what someone had tweeted me today is that that when they were on it one of the reasons they were on it was because Dale had sided with Topper in the divorce. What? Ooh. That's one of the worst things because ever. Because Dale is not a feminist. No. And Dale's like, oh, well, Tinsley, I'm sorry. I believe a woman needs to stay with her Would man. You need my, where my baby? <laughs> where are they? Wow. They're and in a freezer in Redondo Beach. That <laughs> is. Who you, next to yours and mine. Next to mine. <laughs> Apartments do you, think, do you think that she's just trying to make the relationship work like because i don't know like yes like i yes. mean she's like yeah it's not perfect but it, she doesn't need she's perfect. Gotta, she she's just got wants to get married she wants to have kids. Get those kids she wants to entertain his friends like that but is it's what very she, sad make her mother happy yes it's very sad because she won't push him though because she's afraid if she pushes him he'll say no so she's in this like very delicate sad balance because she's times run it's well, really I hate sad for that women feel the need it's and horrible it, to like uh, it's an ultimatum because i want something and i don't want to push him away like <sighs> I, I hate yeah. okay uh, how we are put or, or we put ourselves i don't know like i just how society puts us in that weird position it's horrible and when when i was on watch what happens live and andy played that game of like a uh, housewife's gonna come on you're not gonna know who it is and you're gonna guess mm-hmm. right. and they had like shrouded voices mm-hmm. tinsley was mine and so he was like oh and just say like a quick message to them, say something to them after but the clock was running and all i could think would say to tinsley it was strange like with portia i was like i love you so much mm-hmm. and then you know and then i was like tinsley go best of luck on your fertility journey uh, <laughs> strange <laughs> but i mean it's a strange. Strange. It's from the heart. it was and she goes thank you so much no i believe that was from the it heart it was oh 100 mm-hmm. percent from the heart is tinsley the camille of new york i mean is she like because i mean her storyline no, is think, like I, ha- I think she is 
has more grace than Camille, and I think she is more um, sympathetic than Camille. I yeah. like her more than Camille. Oh, yeah. oh me too. I, will watch it I, I think Barbara is the Barbara's a strange character. Barbara is. No, they are insinuating Barbara's a lesbian, right? Yeah, but it's so it's sort of mean spirited. Yeah, they're no, like, don't is. you cross a room? You but by yeah, the way, it like, seems a little it's like a little creepy setting. To me. It, it seems like, a little gay nice. panicky. Like, yeah, you know, it's, it's like, like <laughs> you get like, that, like that's <laughs> why I'm like when I watch a show. Sometimes Meanwhile, I'm like, like this is New York, right? Like we're we're supposed to be a little bit oh, ahead of the yeah. curve They're acting here. like and Sonia, like don't you come to me with that yeah. shit, <laughs> Sonia. Full on made out with a strange woman. And like, Sonya's like, but that's because I know B. Like, but not yeah. your kind. But she made out with that strange woman, like, across the bar. I know, from her. but Sonia doesn't identify in that way. No, and she's like, kind of saying it like that was fun, right? It's like, not yeah. like, because it's like deviant. The it's other not way. like you. Like, yeah. I want yeah. this. Like, so it's so strange, and I, I don't like the way it's kind of like put out there. And They're I, all I find so it weird, weird and, and yucky. Wow. But that's, that's like, oh, that's the gossip. It's. It's a we, it's yeah it's bizarre I I do feel like do I have anything for Barbara no do I like Barbara no, <laughs> no. Barbara needs a new nail color go on Paul and Barbara no, needs I, I don't like her style no well I mean the style on this show should be better right I mean yeah look, yes you're right no. you know it's not I wouldn't say any of Bethany is the closest. I think Bethany is like one of the nicest apartments. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I yeah. heard that she had to lower the price on that other one, the yeah. one that she's selling. And she had to fire Frederick, yeah, who she had that real estate show with. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, he yeah. wasn't moving the merch. Yeah. Oh boy. Well, I didn't think that. I thought that that was way but overpriced. But you, I mean, again, Bethany, like first day it didn't sell. She's like, "Get the fuck out of here! Like, you're not gonna sell my apartment. Like, you're done." <laughs> I, I mean, do love her though. <laughs> you know, his apartment was gross though i mean a couple episodes back was dorinda's <laughs> people were shocked that her I was apartment like, what <laughs> what how did you get on this show <laughs> i mean she does have that real estate holding in the berkshires but you're uh, right paul it was dorinda's apartment and it left well, a, I, a lot, lot of people were like did we see her before in a nicer place like when her husband died and became a balloon it was like in a nicer place that was the berkshires oh that was boy yeah so when he was floating around as a balloon that was berkshire by the way can we just get her real estate agent on like a million oh, dollar listing he, everyone has treated me tonight because she is on she's bartending on a watch what happens live tonight you know she's oh, my spirit animal and I and deanna her. chang your sister-in-law yeah. said to me two weeks ago like that is who i will grow up to be and i oh, thought that was the biggest compliment I've it ever was had it, it's such a, it's a it is a compliment it it's is a compliment, such a compliment. She's me. Yeah. i identify with her i hope that i'm living a life that she lives i thought she was lovely i, I loved, loved her, her. Too. i want to see more of her. Yeah. Did she trigger you as well, Paul? <laughs> she did not trigger me. <laughs> okay, okay, good, okay. I hope she doesn't because guess who who I'm going to be in like 10 years. Right. No, you know, when like, I'm 61. You know, like, like, there's something about like Ken that, Todd. That I, 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 I like. respect that. Yep, me like, too. Uh, like that, that's the New Yorker that I would She's like to hustler. watch. She's, She's a hustler. She's a hustler. That's there's, abroad. Yeah, there's like this. Uh, I don't know what it is. And by the way, I say this with like a lot of admiration for New York. I will watch it. I'm not bored by it. It just triggers me. It makes yeah, me feel no, like I'm look, back home. That's how I feel, feel with like OC, back. even though I didn't, I'm not from there. There's just sometimes a, a full city will rub you wrong. Yeah, mm -hmm. it just sort of like it, it just reminds like. But that's what's so beautiful is we can all kind of pick. You exactly, know? and look, and I'm in, I'm I'm in it. I'm in it to watch it. I'm there, but I'm You're just. You're obviously like, in it. You have people that are tweeting and, at you and Paul. Before with we you. let you go, is there anything you want to say to your kind of um, haters, haters out there? Well, look, <laughs> take a minute. Any in particular? <sighs> you know, look. Uh, to the LVP stands, I want to tell you that um, I don't dislike LVP. I think that she makes good television. And I think if you think that, you have to understand that she's probably manipulating Puppy Gate because there is no other story. If there was no other story, what would Beverly Hills be about this season? Wow. Not much. So, Paul, you're saying that if we're on the opposite side of LVP, we should actually be on her side because she's giving us something. I'm saying that LVP mm. knows how to make reality television. She's on America's Best New Dog. She's got yeah. the Vanderpump rules. She's doing her part in stirring the pot. Mm -hmm. And so you can't just come out and be like, oh, no, no, she's the, the you got to, you got to be in it. You know, she's, she knows what she's you gotta doing. You got to ride she's the She's an adult. Yeah, she's an right. adult. She doesn't need your defense. Do you she doesn't want... need to come to her defense. That's all I'm saying. Seems she's like a... you need some people online I to do. come I need, to yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I do need some more Team Teddies on my side. I, uh, but you know what? I will say that uh, <laughs> there's a lot of a lot of great Team Teddy people out there I met. And, and, and I'm few, my, few but mighty. Few but mighty. They don't okay. look. look. They don't come out loud and proud, but they, <laughs> de they slip into your DMs. <laughs> look, I'm going <laughs> to tell you. I'm going to tell you these people are there. And, and, you know, look. There's a community if you need it. Have yeah. I had a couple of interesting DMs with people on the show? Sure. 
I mean, no. Bro, who do we got? Okay. Can't get into it. Okay, you can't get into it. On the I will say, I feel like you're having some communications in some form or fashion with Lisa Rinna. Yeah. And I don't know what's going on, but. I can't talk to any okay. of Okay, you you're not at liberty. I'll talk to you at the, after the re- reunion. Okay. <laughs> Wait, maybe which me, you will be at? Maybe Mila and I will be there. Because Erica may bring Mila and, and I. We'll see. <laughs> What? Mila Kunis. Yo, no, we knew, but uh, yeah. I, I just didn't know where you got in though. this formula. Yeah, because Mila is a big fan, but she's been a f- I'm nervous to go and watch what happens live. But okay. she really wants to go to the reunion. Well, maybe so. her gateway should be our podcast. Yeah, Mila. Oh, by the way, she'd be great. I, I mean, did you see when she hosted Ellen? She got Erica Jane. They got into it together. It was oh, great. Oh, wow. Mila, I didn't if you're see that. Hearing. But yeah. Mila, if you're listening to this, which you're not, <laughs> start Come on listening. Down. You never know. You, you know never what? know. Can I tell you? Mila and Ashton have the best new business out in there. It's called Date Night. So it's basically like this new app where they like curate an awesome date night for you. And I was like, this is a genius thing. They're doing it like starting off in LA. I think Elon from The Bachelor and Ashton are oh, doing it together. Oh, I thought you were going to say Elon Musk. I was oh. like, ooh. Oh. <laughs> no, they're, it, but basically they create like a Bachelor-esque date for you. And it's like very relatively cheap. And, like, this one was, like, a wine tasting on top of a building, and they have a photographer who comes over to your table. Oh, that's pictures. cute. It's, like, a whole little thing, and you get to go, pop, pop, pop. Yeah. It's kind really of, good. like, open table? Like, you just kind of book it? Yeah. You just book a thing. And, and, they, and what are you kind of looking for? Do you give them any parameters? No, no. They're, they're going to – it's already, like, it's – they've set up what the date is. Wine tasting. Okay. You're going to go, like – but they're going to take care of the whole thing. Like, you just go, and you have yeah. a whole little experience. Okay. Uh, like uh, interesting space for them to get into. Yeah. But yeah. I like it. I like I mean, it. Kutcher's all about those apps. Oh, I've I love them I dearly. Think, yeah. He's been so lovely to me in my career. I have to put uh, that there. Oh, yeah. Killers. Killers. <laughs> <laughs> Killers. <laughs> okay, Paul guys. Sheer. Paul Shear. Thank you so much for Star having me. Star of Killers. <laughs> <laughs> no, you weren't even in college. Um, Paul, it has been a delight to have you. Uh, it has been amazing to be on the show and talk about these uh, these people. And I appreciate your takes. We're very like well researched, well yes. grounded, and you I seem to focused. And be in touch with boots on the ground. I'm yeah. trying to get boots on the ground for you. Like I had to come here. I had to come and be prepared. So well, yeah, and, and I thank you for reading those transcripts online. And I'm so sorry for what you've you know been through. You know, yeah, what you've been through. By the way, I had. But I'm glad you got plugs in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> those plugs. I, I mean, I I did. By the way, when I was on Watch What Happens Live, I was very pleased with the bits I was able to pull off. I fully had printed out all the text messages between uh, John Blizzard and... uh, and John Sesshire. No, it was uh, was Blizzard and... uh, Teddy. 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 And I had them all in the giant... Like font. Giant font. It was like it was fully recreated text wow. messages. I'm very happy about that. You know that. what? You're good. You're good. You're great. I had to go on there. All Thank right. you for being here, Paul. Paul Shear, guys. Paul Shear, if you, I'm sure you already listened to it, but how did this get made? It's a terrific podcast. Thank Black you so Monday. Much. Yeah. Why not? There you go. Catch up on the whole first season. Whole first season. Bye, Paul. Bye, Paul. <laughs>